This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you binge on thousands of hit shows anytime, anywhere, on your TV, PC, smartphone, or tablet. Support this podcast and get an extended free trial of Hulu Plus when you go to HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. That's HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. This week's episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by our good friends at Funimation Entertainment. Akira has been praised as one of the greatest anime movies of all time. 25 years later and still blowing minds, Funimation is finally bringing you the definitive collection of this anime masterpiece. Don't miss the Akira 25th Anniversary Edition on Blu-ray and DVD available now. Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. I'm sneeze. Just in the nick of time. Gavin, so, did Gavin, you you, did you literally wait until 60 seconds before the podcast to go take a piss? I always we, did. We, I was like, we're, we're starting in a minute, guys. Gavin's like, no, we're not. I'm going to go take a piss. I'm like, Gavin, we're starting in a fucking minute. Well, my no, watch. What, are we? My you watch. And then, like, we kept talking about it. You my kept watch, coming back. My watch said three minutes. So and I was you're like, yeah. fuck your watch. Yeah. No, and yeah. I was like, no, it's because we turned the time back. That's why. Yeah. We went back an hour. That's yeah. why it's all well, no, three I realized, minutes. We also went forward two minutes. No, yeah. I realized I was bollocks because last week the clocks changed, so that's why my watch is off. <laughs> right, which makes no sense. It should be, it should be an hour off. It it, I mean, you. I, I looked at my watch and I must have been like, oh, it's probably like half three and then I flinged it forward an hour. I so must have just missed slightly by three. What did you just say right now? Half three and flinged it forward. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin tried to say, Carrie, is Could he you just translate? guessed and he turned the clock back oh. and what he thought was an hour. Yeah. But if you don't do it like completely accurate, there's no point in wearing a fucking watch, Gavin. Yeah, yeah I just, I guess I just well, like, like, yeah, I'll I be there within three minutes. My clock went back 58 minutes. <laughs> fucking idiot. So I <laughs> guess fair, we should, we should explain our, uh, our attire here. Nah. We, uh, oh, we're not- in honor not wearing my appropriate uh, specs. Hang Jack's on. upcoming <laughs> nuptials. How'd you get sunglasses once? Yours are sunglasses too, you idiot. Are, idiot. Oh, In honor know. of Jack's hang upcoming on. nuptials, we decided yeah, to have on. our own podcast bachelor party without hey. Jack. Oh my god, hey. these are oh, the hardest things to see out of It's ever. even better, like, than if Jack were here, obviously. Oh, I mean, hold on, but it, it, hold on. Oh, almost like my giant beer over. Mm. Oh, yeah. he is here in spirit, but not physically here, so what everybody is this wins. Thing? Yeah. Dude, check it out. Why hey guys, this? thanks for the second bachelor party. I'm getting married, you stupid dill hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be happy forever. I, I hope Katie's ready to see this on our wedding night. <laughs> but I'll hide my <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> oh. oh, God. All right, that went, that went awful right. really fast. That, that went awful good. a lot quicker than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> Did it, though? <laughs> I think Carrie said, how many Jack impressions until it gets offensive? And I said, probably one. Yeah. And you called it. That was like less than one. It was less than one somehow. At the same time, we all went, oh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I can't that, see that, anything. That also dude. explains our, our nifty uh, tuxedo shirts. Yeah. They look good. Which I'm very happy wearing. Michael went all out. And it tags off. I went half out. I got yeah. a j- jacket and stuff. Yeah, I went cool. home. I got the jacket. Did drive to Walmart just to buy the hat. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, How I much? had this on my desk already. Yeah, I was going to say, I have no idea where Carrie's hat came from. Now, Carrie just walked in with that. I just yeah. have this, actually. How much was that hat, Michael? It was like nine fifty. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Money well spent. Yeah. You I was like bloody oh, JK if, from like, Jericho. Like, if he didn't fancy. spend that nine fifty on this, he would have wasted it on something anyway. It's true. That's a very good point. True. This is like going out to the people. People are going to be like, dude, the hat looks nice. It yeah. matches the suit. It Probably would have bought a line of shirt. Coke. I tucked mine in. I don't know how much Coke you could buy for nine fifty, Gavin. I don't know. I've never bought cocaine. Oh, I think it's not <laughs> a you can probably granule. buy. Yeah, you buy one granule <laughs> yeah. of, of cocaine. Would it work? Would it do the trick? I don't know. You can buy like half of a second through an hourglass. <laughs> like that's like, the measurement is like the tiny little granules falling through. Uh, have you ever made an hourglass? How does it work? Were you about to ask how it works? You pour the fucking beer in it. Oh, it smells a bit ming in there. It is a little like, minging. How, how, how old I is that? I thought that was the beer. Were they, wa- were they washed? I'm told or? they were washed. I was, uh, Kara got angry at me when Kara I asked. Was very clear. These have been these have been washed. Were they washed? Well, uh, she smells. did not throw she out the term sanitized. A hundred percent sanitized. Oh, she's throwing it I out now. Think, I don't think medical facilities can claim the thing that. Is That's you why can't, they always put ninety nine. This is also plastic. The right. You can't clean the bottle. Like, how do you? Well, that, you're just not going like, to drink out of that. Did she just like spit in it and kind of like throw a rag in there? Is that what happened? <laughs> Probably one of them. Yeah. She says, I, yeah. I she she says exactly. She spit and put a rag in it. That's fine. Which and qualifies as clean. clean. What are you doing? Yeah, depending you're on, are you throwing like the germs second. out? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a cup, man. Oh, you put right. liquids into it and you drink out of it, Gavin. Oh, God. Please overflow. Please overflow. Yeah. Let's watch this. All right. <laughs> it's it's an absolute disaster waiting to happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Jack's actual, actual bachelor party was this past weekend as yeah. well as Katie's bachelorette party, which was, there you go. Cheers, mate. Did you hear me? Sound British. <laughs> which was chronicled <laughs> extensively on Twitter. Uh, like, sadly, I was not able to make it. But uh, sadly, I was not invited. Yeah, I wasn't invited either, Carrie. <laughs> oh, I mean, me neither then. Yeah. <laughs> Solidarity, brothers. Um, so we're having this honorary one without him. Yeah. It's weird. Katie invited me to her. Screw though. you. It's weird. <laughs> Did you go? No. How was it? It was, uh, was beautiful. 
I heard there was like a waiter that got Twitter followers or something. I don't know. Oh yeah. I said yeah. I, what I said was it's always oh, there's their the retro party picture. That looks like a blast. What I'm always scared about is like they, you, you okay. said they they helped the waiter get Twitter followers. Yeah. I'm afraid that you do something like that and then like the next day you realize oh he's just a crazy racist. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he's just like tweeting yeah. all these <laughs> that guy insane actually things. ate three people last night. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> it's like oh great You're like oh he, he, he got a, got a bunch of new followers invited him over ate them. Ate them. <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah, like you don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> he did a giveaway. <laughs> that, Jeffrey Dahmer would have loved Twitter. <laughs> Gavin, did you take your base off? Yeah, it was falling off. Yeah, he unscrewed oh, okay. the base of his cup. So, uh, throwing out this, uh, throw it out there now. Not doing this for me. Uh, excuse me. Who's not? Oh, why He's not? Saying not. I don't know. What would you get from my face? What would you put over your face for me? A big like asterisk, you. and then a, like a pound <laughs> yeah. sign, and then like a question oh, mark. Michael. Yeah. And then for uh, the voice, it would just be beep. Put put. Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, Carrie. <laughs> Man, I mean, half a beer. Carrie's getting into okay. it. I can just keep staring at myself He's all day on this. He's getting into it. I, um, I'll be honest. They actually look pretty good. Yeah, they do. The little although, popsicle stick with the claw. Although, like, the, the lip cut kind of makes you look like you've had a stroke. Because I can only see one half of your lip and it's drooping down. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's totally natural. Dude, she dude, says my lip is misshapen. Dude, your lip's all fucked up. No, man. No. I mold, they molded it after your saggy Did you guys, lips. There's one too much putt putt. Did oh, you guys ever I, watch? Am uh, I talking to myself? Just, oh. Did you guys ever watch Mad TV? Yeah. You're Mad one TV. One of my favorite sketches ever was it was like uh, an, like a news report at an old folks home, and like halfway through every skit, this like the uh, one of the news reporters would like start to have a stroke, and she's go, "Not today, Lord." Ah, and then, like like break out of the stroke, <laughs> like fight back. Yeah. <laughs> so do they do a Gavin? Yeah. There's like, oh, I am not having a stroke. No, There's like, yeah, Gavin, right 3MD's yeah. advice. If, Whenever you get sick, just don't. If fighting the stroke means passing out and waking up six hours later with a headache. He told me uh, yesterday, it, yeah. uh, just don't get the flu. Yeah. We had oh, a discussion yeah. about flu shots. He's like, don't get it. Do, do, do you That's ever money, get flu shots? Yeah. I got flu shots, like, growing up because, like, my family took me to, like, you know, regular but, doctor visits, like, every few months or whatever. But, like, since I became a, an adult now, I was like, ah, I'm too I would easy. love to get sick. Yeah. But, so I know I don't get them. What no. about you? I'll get Gav sick in a heartbeat. Gavarino. Never had a flu shot, never had flu. I had a flu shot twice. Two different years? Yeah. Both years I got the flu. Only yeah. times I've ever had the flu that's were the I two fucking years I got the flu that's shot. Why I don't get shots. No point. <laughs> if, I guess maybe you should go get a shot then. If I would, you're like, I would if you're old, old you're gonna die, yeah. then yes. Well, yeah. Then you should also do it if you're around old people. No. Yeah. No. That was a big thing, yeah. No, the I thing is, old people can die from it because their immune systems suck and they're supposed to die. Old people and babies and kids. Not really. Let's face yeah. it. Come on, they're just a drain on society. Right. So what if one of your relatives was <laughs> dying and it's like, yeah, you're old. Yeah. See you later. Suck it up. Get the flu shot. <laughs> Suck That's it what up. You, <laughs> you should have got the flu shot, like I told you. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. You old bastard. <laughs> you're gonna spill that drink. Yeah. Nah. You're just holding like a cone now, and you're can, already like no, <laughs> you're stabbing it into the couch. I wedge it there. And it's fine. <laughs> That's actually that's pretty handy. Really the, handy and really it. smart. That's yeah. ingenious until it goes wrong. Yeah. It, won't, it won't go wrong. That actually is working way wrong. better than mine. I keep almost catching mine on my leg right here. Carrie, you can't wave oh. it around. I've you, been. Carrie's trying to like like spin it like a quick wine update. glass. Uh, there's a little bit of Jack Beard fluff. There we go. Right. Okay. It was on mm -hmm. my my mic. We didn't need to hear that. Thanks well, for that. That was important. Yeah. Holy oh shit. Okay. Thanks to uh, Iris Fung for the. Uh, Picture of all of us looking like ZZ Top with our different beards and sunglasses on. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'll see if I can get that onto the, onto the stream. That's um, awesome. So this week, this Friday, I don't know if anybody else is excited about it, but we finally have uh, PS4 launching. Oh, I yeah. pre-ordered mine. Do we ever do, like, the intro? What? Hey, we're here. Like For the podcast? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we did. Did we? Right. We're here. I went right Oh, we didn't head. say who's here, yeah, though. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, okay, yeah. It's uh, Gus, Gavin, Michael, Carrie. And Gus. Uh, nice. I was like, if we had that happened, I missed it, guys. So what do you mean, I'll Gus? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, special guest star, you Jack. You look like bloody someone from Robin Hood. Look at your wavy hair and your like. <laughs> That's true. You know, the, like, hat, the hat really does it. You have like a town like crier hat yeah. or something. You this, know what I mean? Like, this is like the uh, the crazy dude. That, you like, look like you belong in London. I do actually. Yeah. That's because I'm half British. You look it's like true. A you pull it off. Yeah. You have it all together. Yeah. He looks like a what? Like a blimp pilot. A blimp, a blimp <laughs> pilot? <laughs> what does a stereotypical blimp yeah. pilot look like? I imagine mean? the dude that crashed the Hindenburg was wearing that, <laughs> wasn't he? I mean, how'd you know that about was, my that uncle? That was in the U.S. though. Was it? Yeah, that was all in right. Jersey. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, it's Michael. all coming around. <laughs> 
Do you grow out your hair, don't touch a blimp. All right, I'll do What does the fact that it was in the U.S. have to do with anything? Because you said you look British, like a British blimp pilot. I didn't say you look British. He actually didn't. That was, that was uh, oh. I think that was you. I was no, looking, that was I, you. I was looking, that was me. I was you looking said at Twitter. it, Kerry. I was right. distracted. <laughs> God damn I don't know. It. The beard got to Kerry me. has had four sips of beer. No, no, no. It's the glue We've from the beard We've checked his age thing. like five times, yeah. right? He's like 37. <laughs> he, had, uh, he had parental permission, so he's all right. <laughs> um, My daddy signed a form. <laughs> the pillow. Oh, nice. I so, um, so what? What you said you already have it pre-ordered. Does anybody yeah. else have the PS4 pre-ordered? Yeah, I have it pre-ordered. I had it pre-ordered, and then I canceled the pre-order. You canceled Interesting. it. Interesting. And here's why. Yeah. I don't have really any interest in the PS4 or any of the games that are going to be on it. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to play it. And the Xbox One is a Blu-ray player, so I'll just use that. I really just bought the PS4 because I thought it'd be cool to have them both next to each other, mm-hmm. and I thought that is a douchey. Disgusting reason to get a PS4. So, but in the end, though, you're picking that, a has, PS4 ne- that has never stopped you from any decision in your life. It actually yeah. has. Is this too no. douchey? Yeah. Do you no, see how you're wearing your sunglasses right now, Gavin? Gavin. Out <laughs> look at your look at your hair and your glasses. Look at them. Look at but them. If, yeah. Yeah. If, if you're you holding get, a PS4, though, you'd look fucking sweet. If you ever get to a point, though, not getting the PS4, where you're sitting at home wondering what if, you can come over. Yeah. Or I could just go to work where they'll obviously be that a bunch of That doesn't count, PS4s. though. That's Do you work, guys have man. room on your desk, though? Absolutely not. Yeah. We don't have room on our desk now. You're going to start stacking things? I said to Gavin today, I'm going to fucking put a shelf on the wall. I'm just going to drill a shelf on the wall over my desk. Well, you see where I keep the you, Wii U, right? Yeah, like I'm it's in a heap under my desk. You, <laughs> you should, you should drill a, a hole through the wall, keep them all in the conference room on the other side of the wall, yeah. and just run like the HDMI cable out to your side Bluetooth of the room. The other thing I perfect. thought of was just punching a hole in the wall and just sitting them in the wall, like half oh, right, in both right. rooms. Mm. You, you mean like but with a hammer, right? You wouldn't actually. Well, yeah, I would probably it. cut it. You right. know, use like a keyhole saw, oh, good. cut sheetrock pretty good. Smart. Yeah. Why don't you just punch it though? Oh, there's no need for that. Kerry. I want to make it look good. Just film it on Thursday. Shut up, Carrie. What uh? What, do you you have, what games do you have pre-ordered? Do you have any? I have absolutely nothing with? pre-ordered. That was my mistake. I'm a little. Ups- I'm a little <laughs> sad. I'm gonna get the console and be like, mm. I don't think it'll be a problem getting the games. It's always a problem yeah. getting well, hardware. Yeah, I mean, typically, I'm, until I'm you super, go to get the game, you're not getting it. Well, the thing is, I'm super into digital downloads. So I'm just gonna that too. just day one oh, download right. everything. Yeah. So I'm is a little there anything upset. that won't come that way. Uh, I think everything. As far as I know, day. yeah, it's almost like I think it's required. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. And but but like Blu-ray's a you but can like it's 50 like a 50, gigs it could potentially be a fit like a fifty game yeah. download. Because I imagine like a racing game with all these textures and I was actually all the maps reading about that online to uh, earlier today. They're doing something like they're doing with Steam, where you start downloading it and you can start playing while it's still downloading in the background. Even still though, just saying Dude. like that would take up an enormous amount of space. Like you get ten games, you could have. No, that was actually it was, it was an article in Taka, uh, Kotaku, and that's like all they were talking about. Takaku, like, Kotaku. Uh, <clears throat> it's like every, every disc that you put in is going to start automatically caching. They're all going to save to the hard drive no matter what. Same thing for the Xbox. How big um, are the hard drives? The PS4 ships with a 500 gig drive, yeah. but you can replace it and put a bigger one in. I'm, I want to find a 2 terabyte drive I can put in there, but I'm not having any luck. Everything seems like it's 1.5 terabyte. Oh, really? Yeah. Is, is it the, uh, no, the laptop size sorry. ones? Yeah. Can you get solid state in there? Yeah. yeah. I think it just has to be larger than 160 gigs, and it can't be any taller than 9.5 millimeters. Or you could just drill out the top of the case and just have it plonked on. You could do that. You <laughs> could have like a cable an option, Gavin, So. Yes. There's not like a thing you buy and plug it in. You gotta actually like do shit. Yeah, you like yeah. Unsc- you just right, like you unscrew so it. So after the out. podcast, you're like Michael, buy this one. I'll bring it in. You walk me through it. Yeah, it's like okay. two screws. Yeah. Okay, it's yeah. super easy. Can I'll you do bring that with it the in. You no, the Xbox it. you cannot. Replace they make it all lame right? and closed. And it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. It's the same thing where they have an enclosure that has the same hard drive. <laughs> You could go buy at a store, but it's inside a very specific plastic. I don't think you can even do that with the Xbox One. Really? Yeah, I don't think they'll have any other drives you can swap it out with. How big is the hard drive then? I think it's also 500 gigs. Well, how do they limit? Yeah. How do they limit? But they'll allow you to use USB storage. Okay. Did they say how big yet? Are they increasing from 32 gigs? Uh, probably. I don't know. Okay. Mm. I would assume so. Yeah. Do you feel like memory sticks have kind of slowed down? What does that mean? Slowed down is in speed. Just the capacity. It was like, oh my god, whoa, and then yeah. went up to like 32 and 64, and then it was just like, anything above that is ridiculously expensive still. Well, I think and it's just, kind of been it's that way for the last five years. Copy. Yeah, where oh the fuck god, is that? Oh god, it does take fucking yeah. forever. Yeah. Well, no, not USB 3 ones. There's, yeah, there's USB 3 ones. Are there USB 3 sticks sweet. now? Yeah. yeah. That's fucking awesome. Get with the times. I want that. Carry you I don't even your own your British hat. <laughs> I even own PS4 games. Yeah, see, we're lucky, Gavin and I specifically, where I didn't pre order any games. Um, <laughs> but we're all getting our own copies pretty much for everything for, for work anyway, so we can just take the games home with us, which is why we didn't get any games. So, oh, like, yeah, I know point. we're getting, like, you know, six Dead Rising 3s and six of any, like, multiplayer game that came out. Brag about it. Yeah. 
Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, I, I wouldn't been... reserve any games. Otherwise, I, I would have fucking. I probably would have reserved like five games oh, on each console. Don't why... forget, pass me mine. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> kind of losing the enthusiasm. <laughs> on that. Yeah. But oh, that's like that's what I wonder about Ray's because I imagine a big, hefty chunk of his income used to be yeah, buying games, even and me. now every game is I free. I spent a shitload of money on like, games. Like, what is? What do you buy now? I buy lots of stuff because I buy like you buy not, a blender now I buy adult stuff. A blender. I buy you adult buy stuff and blender. I'm fucking getting married and His I'm blender. spending fucking money left and right. His blender's like self aware. It's self aware. Like, yeah. What does that mean? It, it, it goes around it's a bit. It's like it's is like what he's saying. How much stuff is in here? And then it's like oh yeah, tease it up into little pieces. Then it goes mental and then it stops on its own. Yeah, That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pre programmed, so you just push a button. I I I got a. I'm pulling up the camera here. I don't know if the people in the control room are listening. There's something I just noticed on the set here that I wanted to. Uh -oh. Here we go. Is my fly open? Let me, uh, get your dick out ready. Get your dick out ready. Get your dick out. Carrie. Oh, okay. I finished one beer. Okay. Sorry. That's uh, not cutting to the street. Oh, no? no? Uh, well, mm. what I was going to show is... Uh, what are you trying to do? Make this. I wanted to use the camera on here to send something into the stream. I had not noticed the little beards in the reeds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see those? I can't see. I don't know if those are showing oh, up yeah. fuck. on camera. That's There's pretty fucking funny. There's <laughs> Look, I got my beard. Dude, that's like a trim beard. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, that's not going back in. Well, Carrie there, fucked we it a, up. We remember, got a close-up there. So remember how long it took to I had not that even up. noticed those. <laughs> uh, I just turned around and uh, I saw it there. Right I thought you, like, me. found a dead body or something. You were looking yeah. all suspicious. I was going to be like, Carrie's cock's been at this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> have you ever you had knew. someone see your knob without you wanting them to? No. I keep it, I keep it on lock. Yeah. Dude, yeah. knob lockdown, 24-7. <laughs> I've just never been in a situation where it's been like, no. What about you? You ask for a reason then, yeah. don't you? You no, 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 a story. No, no, no. Gavin in the hot seat. No, I mean, I've dived into a pool. My uh, swimming shorts have come off before, but mm. I've always dived How down. many, look, this can be an approximate number. How many men have seen your dick? She's thinking. Not many. Not many. That's a good, good answer. Okay. I assume One? you mean like Bullshit. not as a baby. When you're a baby, oh, sure. that doesn't count. Sure, sure, baby sure. Your dick's don't out there. Count. Baby dick and baby ass is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Oh, I don't think any then. None. Oh. Well, I'm disappointed now. Hmm. Not so even like a, an uncle. Jesus. <laughs> Just ask him. <laughs> it seems like the most obvious choice. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you poll people, that's pretty high up there. But <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, what about you? I don't think so. I think I'm Nothing at zero. I, I think recall. I'm at zero also. Yeah, that's good. Do you guys want to like whip it out now and make it four for everybody, or three? It'd that? be a lot more. Well, very. It, it's a live podcast. Li I, I would have had in person a, dick a lot more if um, you know when we filmed the <laughs> when we filmed the RT short for the censorship. Oh yeah. You know where everything gets keeps getting blurred out. The original ending for that short was supposed to be I walk into the room and everything is blurred out except for my dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like the one thing that doesn't get censored is my dick. And then like the whole short was supposed to end just in a close up of dick. So why didn't that happen? Because uh, we figured the video would get removed anywhere we tried to host yep. it. Yep. Even on Blip. Uh, this is before. That was pre Blip. Yeah, right? I think it was before Blip. It was a long time ago. I was there. I was in that short. Were you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Fucking brag about it. Are you Blip? I was the end of the short. I guess I was the disappointing ending. You're not Gus's dick. Yeah. Yeah. Why did, what the fuck, Gavin? Yeah. Why are you stealing the spotlight from Gus's dick? I feel bad now. Yeah. His, his, his only dick one way, feels even There's worse. only one way to make up for it. Brandon's, Brandon's telling me he almost saw my dick oh, yeah? during the, uh, uh, the food immersion when they ambushed me in my bedroom in the middle of the night. <laughs> Wait, you sleep oh, with all your right. Kit yeah, and my underwear were half off. <laughs> I was in the Actually, that was on purpose. I, I realized what was going on, and I dropped my underwear. I like that's under the, the first. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I'm going to make this as terrible for them yeah, as I'm they're making it for me. It has, gonna, to, it has to be, guys. They're going to have to see some shit. I remember that shoot was literally like, hey, Carrie, uh, we need you to come to the office at four in the morning on a Saturday. Uh, can't tell you what it's about. Just be here. I was like, okay. Then I saw Gus's ass. You might see dick. Yeah. <laughs> if everything goes well, a little bit of cock. Or a lot. Or, you know, A lot. I, it depends on how much he wants to show. I don't know. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that was a, that was a really. I'm sorry, Gus. You that was a really painful uh, immersion to shoot. God, oh, that, yeah. that was really bad. A lot of people still ask if that was staged no, or it was not. Uh, if we knew about it. No. I'm amazed at how much stuff we can shoot here. That's total. Like we don't know what's going on. Like in secret. Like the, there's the, so much going on. The gauntlet was that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you got asked about something earlier. Someone showed you some wardrobe, and they were like, "Are these pants good for you?" You're like, "For that's what?" A, that's and a different. They were problem. like, "For that, for the thing," and you're like. 
This yeah. is the first I'm hearing about I it. I mean, the, the downside to that is that I never know what I'm meant to be in. It's like, hey, so you ready for this? It's like, ready for what? What are you talking about? I don't know about this. Dude, I know. Like, last week, someone said that there's a, a guy at a show called Rage Quit. I'd never even seen it before. <laughs> I'm just like, when did this start? Um. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was, look, I was looking at the side of your head. Yeah, what's up? And uh, I thought your, your sunglasses were going through your hat. Uh -huh. and I realized you're also wearing normal glasses. Right, they're on my face. Yeah. So I can see. Man, I was confused. Yeah. Gavin is correct, though. There's a... Uh, whatever you were saying. Rage quit. Yeah. Lots of stuff going on. Yeah. Here. There is a shitload of stuff going on. Like, even the, the, I mean, the I Pokemon thing that, that you know, me oh, and Bernie right. did. I'd, like, night before, like, 7 p.m., Brandon's like, what are you doing tomorrow? You know what I mean? I'm <laughs> yeah, just like, why? Soon. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, work. Okay. Here, let me, re let me read this thing. Uh, I want to remind everyone that this week's episode of the Rooster Podcast is brought to you by good friends at Funimation Entertainment. Neo Tokyo is about to explode again. Akira has been praised as one of the greatest anime movies of all time. 25 years later and still blowing minds, Funimation is finally bringing you the definitive collection of this anime masterpiece. Don't miss the Akira 25th Anniversary Edition on Blu-ray and DVD. Available now. Uh, they, they <laughs> <laughs> you missed it completely. <laughs> Akira. Uh. Uh, oh, so I, I, I actually uh, rewatched it before yeah. uh, do, you know we're doing the sponsorship today. It's, it's been a long time since I've seen it. I can't oh. believe it came out 25 years ago. That's this crazy to me. This version of the release has two different English dubs. You, you're saying this? So it was the the, the original, original release, and then one that was redone in 2001. Is it? Uh, how different is it? Is it the same voice actors just like take two? No, it's also it like, they're, they're like I mean, there's diff it's different translations. And even if you really? listen to them and read the subtitles at the same time. Which I did because I'm a huge nerd. Yeah. Uh, it's different. Uh, uh, there's slight differences, like really? as far as what they're. What I they're hate. I hate that doing. so much when uh, uh, when you're watching anime and it's like, yeah, the uh, the subtitles are different from what they're saying because it's dubbed. But they tra they did the subtitles off the translation before they dubbed it. Right. It's, oh my god, that's like my biggest pet peeve in the world. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> the, what was that Jackie Chan movie where right at the end he like slides down a pole, but there's lights attached to it. And it's like. Rush Hour Five. No, you're done. <laughs> and uh, he's like going all the way down. It's kind of old, probably from... Is it Rumble in the Bronx? No, I think it was before that. But in that, he dubs himself. Well, maybe it's not that one. He dubs himself? Well, he does his own voice yeah. in so English he speaks. over the top of him doing Chinese. But the subtitles are totally different to what he's... Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, okay. It's like, so it's watching both on is really, really confusing. Um, one, one, another thing I did notice when I was rewatching mm -hmm. Akira recently is that in the movie... There, the backdrop is that the, the the Olympics are about to be held in Tokyo in 2020. Right. The 2020 Olympics are going to be held in Tokyo. Holy shit. Oh, shit. So it's like, you know, the original that, manga came out in the early 80s. So it's like 30 years, 40 years before yeah, the 2020 that's Olympics. A hell of a prediction. They predicted that <laughs> wow. the Olympics were going to be in Tokyo. So that's just confirmed Dude. that there's like a secret list somewhere. Dude, guys, it's official. Half-Life yeah. 3. <laughs> that was it. Gabe Newell's like, gonna like do like a bloody it, it, Heisenberg over there. Look at that. Yeah, I it, was. Uh, I said it, before. <laughs> in Akira, it's 147 days before the Olympic. One plus three is four. Four plus three is seven. Half Life Three. Oh confirmed. shit! Why is it just the Olympic? Because I said something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's one saying, event. Uh, I was saying before the it's podcast. It's just the shot put. Because this actually does look very much like Heisenberg. I was like, <laughs> your name's. Dilsenberg. <laughs> I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon really liked that. All the way up here. Dilsenberg. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> You're goddamn right. <laughs> That's really good. That's a good shot. Oh, it's Police Story, people are saying. Is the police Jackie Story, great about. title for a movie. <laughs> he's actually kind of, a, he's kind of a prick in that movie. He pulls a, a girl. Like, by her, the back of her neck, off a bike, off a, off a scooter while she's trying to ride away. What year was it? It was, like, probably, like, the eight, late 80s, early 90s. I don't yeah, know. Shit that shit yeah. flew. That shit flew. Yeah. It's like, you need a bike? Get off the bike. Yeah. yeah. Take it from a girl. Yeah, nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Their grip isn't as strong. It's just, oof, right off. <laughs> um, Police story. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there were a bunch of movies uh, that he did with, with strange titles like that. The one that always got me was Operation Condor. <laughs> Which I never understood why that movie was called Operation Condor. There's a whole thing with that, too, where, like, I don't remember exactly what it is, but there's, like, a sequel 
but like the f- second one came out in America first, yes. and then what? the first one came out yes. second. It's this whole weird fucking thing. So I'm- Operation Condor two in Asia is actually Operation Condor one in America, and Operation Condor one in Asia is Operation. So Condor they just said it's a prequel, but, but nobody country? noticed. Or like, <laughs> I think I think it's like uh, the Indiana Jones movies, where it's like. The story doesn't necessarily carry over. It's the same characters right. in different scenarios. Oh, okay. I like the idea of a prequel. Cre- a prequel? Like, oh, 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 a what? Prequel? Set in the a Olympic. Prequel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a massive prequel it's to the Olympic. Just indie shot putting. But then there was that movie called Who Am I? Where he played special agent Jackie Chan who forgot his name. Like, yeah. His name was Jackie Chan. In was that it movie. really? Yeah. I didn't remember that. And the, I you, just remember Who, who Am I? I? <laughs> God, <laughs> pretty good movie. Did not- you guys be watch this together recently or no, something? No, I haven't that seen was that a little since... too coordinated. No? That's like that's the bit of the movie. Team Nice Dynamite, Gus. Come on, yeah. Always oh. in full effect. Michael actually would not let me sit on the couch. He was very. Well, I didn't say I wouldn't. I let sat you. down on the couch and you're like, whoa. No, no here's Kara. what happened. I was getting my makeup done over there yeah. by Kara, and Patrick came over and he's like, Michael, I'm gonna add a pop filter for you. And I was like, wise choice, Patrick. And then I saw him putting <laughs> the pop filter over notice. there. Yeah. And Carrie sitting here, and I was like, Carrie, you want to like, get the fuck out of my seat? Yeah. And Carrie's like, sure. And then he moved. Yes, sir. So I was like, okay, you know, come on. The rest of it's yeah. you're, you're like, come on, it's me and Gavin, you know, come on. Yeah, it's like, com- like, it's right. like common sense, Carrie. This is a big boy chair. Yeah, Rage Quits Thursday, me. me and Gavin on the couch. Yeah, you know, hmm. Half Life 3. Half Life 3. Yeah, it just uh-huh. makes sense. Carrie, the go guy. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like I, I should mention, we w- I would be derelict in my duties if I did not congratulate. The Red vs. Blue team for wrapping up Red vs. Blue season 11 Whoa, tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight was the final episode. Um, so, big thanks to them for another wonderful series of Red vs. Blue. Yeah, yeah. Ruby just wrapped up uh, yep. on Thursday. And both of those fine products will be on sale tomorrow. So, pick those up when you pick up the Akira 25th Anniversary Edition <laughs> DVD. Uh, <laughs> available on both Blu-ray... <laughs> DVD, oh, available in all Blu-ray, DVD, I and digital I was staring formats. right at the camera. I was determined, like, I'm not going to stop staring until they cut. Is that? <laughs> I was, like, watching the side. Is that the Blu-ray case? Uh, uh, I think that's the DVD case. That's the DVD case. case. Okay. It's also, like, the Australian blue. one, too. It looks like it's the shape of a Blu-ray. Thank you. It's probably not. No, that's, that's no. the DVD case. Okay. Yeah, you... But. CJ, you busta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have cigars. Have those been there the whole time? Yeah, yeah. they've been there the whole time. I was doing like you were talking. And I, I thought somebody like, pooped ah, on the table. I like doing that. What are you meant to do with a cigar? You meant to like chew on the You're end. You meant to smoke it. You chew on the end of it? What? <laughs> no, but. It's like a chew toy no, for adults. No, no, no. Before you do it, pro- you before you do it, before you, you. Cut the end. Oh, I guess I've just seen people do that with their mouth. Like. Really? Like a grenade? Are you sure? You're looking at me like I'm a lunatic. You've I, never seen no, someone no, bite. No, no, I have seen that. I have seen that. People like bite it off. Yeah, like hardcore people. Spit it, yeah. Like Heisenberg would do that. Yeah. Michael? I picked it up to it in like a Heisenberg type fashion. Yeah. But Gus, what, uh, Gus was talking. I wanted to pick it up and just be like, blah, 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 blah. But dude, I, I thought it was rude. <laughs> Dubstep is rude. Yeah. Have you uh, ever smoked a cigar? Yeah, I smoke a cigar every now and then. Do you like it? Uh, I'm not a big fan, but I mean, every now and then when I'm drunk, mm. I could, I, uh, I can see myself, I can see myself fancying a cigar. <laughs> it's funny. Speaking of when you're drunk, so we had the, uh, the extra life stream <laughs> last weekend, and then Bernie graced everyone with his presence. Drunk Bernie, yeah, it's pretty fucking wonderful. walking back and forth, smoking a cigar on the set. But like, af- like right after Patrick uh, cut my hair, we went outside and he's like, "I have to fix some things." And he was like going over it, and Bernie comes out and he's uh he's just like he's talking to us and he takes out the cigar and he's like, and I'm, and I'm just like, okay, I guess Bernie's gonna smoke a cigar. And like right before he goes in, he pulls it out and hands it to me. He's like, ah, here you go, and then just walks inside. I'm like. <laughs> Why did he give you this? Like, I have no idea why he, he didn't handed want to smoke me. it with you. I have no anything. idea why he handed me this. It wasn't like for anything. It's like, ah, here you go. I have this. He probably I, got bored with it. I yeah. uh, <laughs> was watching the stream when he started smoking that cigar. I was like, that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, yeah. He had <laughs> I was a like, lot this of whole place is going to stink like cigar smoke. Yeah. Surprisingly, it didn't. No. And then I started worrying. I was like, are there smoke detectors attached to the sprinklers up there? <laughs> Oh my that would be a fun stream. I started really worrying about it. Sprinklers are usually just heat. Yes. I can't oh, look up very far where the hat will fall off. I've always yeah. wanted to film one of those in slow mo, like what, the a sprinkler, the little glass bulb going. Oh, oh uh, yeah. It just <laughs> it, it, it just melts essentially, right, from the heat. Well, you like, get, like different thicknesses of of bulbs of glass. Bulbs of glass. Right, and and, then and the, the heat at different temperatures will s- just crack them. Right. Huh. And the water comes down oh, where the bulb was. Right. So it's like there's there's really nothing <laughs> to it. It's just like there's right. constant water pressure. <laughs> yeah, I think but there the glass just stops it. Yeah. And then they're actually really accurate to different temperatures, like. One that would break at 900 degrees wouldn't break at 800, kind of thing. Yeah. It's crazy. 
<laughs> <laughs> you look really classy like that, Michael. You think you're ready to like, go banking or something? Yeah, I, I don't know. I might get like a beard surgically attached to my face. Yeah. It's too bad you didn't save all the hair yeah. from when your head got shaved, yeah. and uh, you could have had a hair transplant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I need one of those. Sweet beard. That'd be cool. What, a beard? Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> you Can you grow facial up? hair? Huh? Can I you grow gr- facial hair. It's, just, it's not enough to like get it out. It's still like patchy. It's like I'm missing this part still. Mm. I don't look like an asshole, so I just don't. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same way. I missed that for a long time. Really? I was probably in my mid twenties before. So I'm really sad. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it was just nothing, and then a wool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just because like I grew my entire life. My entire life, my dad had a beard. So like I've been like. He still has a beard. He does. He does. It's crazy. He does. Yeah. To this day. How do you know my dad? To this day, man. Um, Have you met Kerry's dad? Yeah. You have. When'd you meet my dad? I met Martex. Oh, yeah, that's right. Kind of like, like Carrie's like, oh, shit, no, he didn't mean it. Yeah, I forgot He was that. talking to me about England and stuff. Yeah. I had a little conversation with him. That's good. Yeah, was I didn't know that. He's probably watching right now. Oh, hey, dude. Hey, Hi, Carrie's Mr. Dad. Shawcross. Um, but so I was like, I was like the second at 18, fucking pop it out. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Dude, like 10 more years, you'll get there. Yeah, hopefully, you know. I'm witnessing the, uh, the beginnings of back hair on, the, on myself. Yeah, that sucks. Because my, my chest was just like, foof. But my yeah. back was smooth like a baby's asshole. And then <laughs> asshole. I mean, ass. Like a and baby's then... asshole. <laughs> How, uh... What a Freudian slip. I don't, know, I don't know where to go. It's with like that. an asshole that has not been pooped out of yet. It's <laughs> yeah. just like totally smooth. Yeah. Dude, it's smooth, yeah. it's clean, it's sleek. You could eat dinner out of that baby's <laughs> asshole. <laughs> 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 It's you so could have smooth. said office also. You had to say out of it. Now I'm like picturing yeah, that. It's like a soup. You didn't even say smooth as a baby's It's like asshole. a bread bowl. You chose to go there. It's like an Stop ass kicking bowl. kicking the beer, Gavin. <laughs> Is it bleached? Uh, you baby's asshole. I'm glad I did shave it because I did the thing. Yeah, so it. what did you do? You shaved you the baby? Jeff, Jeff has a sweet, sweet stash on. It's pretty uh, great. Rocking. He's yeah. rocking now because uh, I haven't seen him since Friday. So he comes in to work on Monday. And he's got like a sweet like 70s porno stash. It's like it's legit. It's good. And it looks good. No, and it I complimented does. him on it. So Gavin, what was you had a like a full beard this morning. What were you gonna I do did. for the podcast? I was just gonna see what it looked like when I did it. Because yeah. originally I wasn't gonna do it because Jeff did it. I was gonna do it because it's that lame November thing where everyone's like, <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. So I was like, I'll see what it looks like. Instantly got rid of it because I look like a right pedo. <laughs> pedo? That's yeah. not even what you said though. What did you say? What did I say? I can't remember. Can't well, he, he was gonna. He was gonna. Wait, I'll say it. You know. We got a. Uh, I don't know if we want. If we're ready to show it, but we have a. Uh, oh, there you <laughs> go, dude. There's, there's, there's so Jeff good. Stash. It looks good. Um. So Gavin, Gavin. <laughs> is that, is that, that's from two, today's Awu. Yeah. 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 That's from today. All right. Yeah. So Gavin said Shout he was Ray gonna. He was gonna go for a similar like 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 seventy stash just for this podcast for like the Bachelor podcast, and uh, then I see him like you know an hour before the podcast and he's just clean shaven. I'm like, what happened? I thought you were gonna do the thing. He's like. Yeah, I did, but uh, looked like I had a tongue up a baby's asshole, <laughs> and I was just like, and I was eating soup. So I take it y- your mustache okay, it looked like a Panera? pedophile, and he's like, yes. And I was like, I like how that's your descriptive. Well, that's how does your mustache, mustache look? Like my tongue was up a baby's ass. <laughs> Jesus so like Christ. your your mustache looked like a baby. I didn't say baby. I said child. Maybe because okay, that's better. Fair enough. Yeah. I just we just wrote off the baby. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's some ways I'll describe things on the apologize. podcast as opposed to off the podcast. It's right. A different, it's a different world. Okay. Michael's yeah. bringing it into. Yeah. Worlds are colliding. Worlds are colliding. Yeah. Right you should now. know that. So what happened, smooth though, as a baby's asshole. <laughs> totally and fine. Two, I'm drinking. Yeah. Yeah, you are, boy. Yeah. So <laughs> why is it that men are only allowed to have a bachelor party right before they get married? Like, if you're a bachelor. And you're not married? Why not just have a fucking bachelor that seems party like the best every time to fucking have weekend? It because then yeah. you can actually like bang people, and it's not like you're ruining your marriage. Carrie's telling me it's called right? a regular party. I, what's the difference? You're a no. bachelor having a party. Why not? I just call it a fucking. Where bachelor I'm party? from, it's not called a bachelor party. It's called a something s- dumb. Stag do. Go. A stag do? Or a stag party? Right. He mentioned that, a but s- t- that doesn't I've make heard sense. Because like stag do? Because like when like you go stag, you go by yourself. Well, let's have no hang out real quick. Gavin, what? What are we having? What are we having? Like when, like you can have a do. Like it's a like, right means do. like a thing, like an event. <laughs> like a do. <laughs> like come to come to my wedding do. Yeah, like it, like like when you go to like Google Calendar, it's Gavin, like add a do. Gavin, did you read my did you read my wedding invitations? <laughs> I haven't sent them out yet. It says it says <laughs> dearly beloved, come to my wedding do. <laughs> <laughs> having you, a right wedding do. You say it like do. it's insane. That's something that someone would say though. That's crazy. Where I'm from. <laughs> what, what 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 I think of when I think of stag is like I think of old like Looney Tunes where they would always refer to like stag films like. Porn films. Oh, oh really? Shit. Like, 
stag films. I think of just like going stag. Like yeah, going I do to the too. party by yourself. Like going to prom by yourself. What the fuck did suck. a stag ever do that got it like. I don't know. That Apparently, there's something really creatures. good or something I didn't really bad. Invent I don't the name. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they sucked hard enough where it's like if you show up by yourself like a loser, we're going to call you a stag. A stag is like a deer, right? Like a male deer or an elk? Something like I that. I think so. Yeah. So and then and like the female equivalent is a is a hen knight. A hen knight shaman? And not like a deer knight? <laughs> <laughs> or a hen do. <laughs> oh, a hen, a hen. Okay, I got it now. Yeah. The female equivalent. Uh, I thought you meant the female equivalent of just a stag was a hen do. <laughs> I was like, that's no. really sense. You're saying like the equivalent of a bachelor, so bachelorette yeah. party. I don't understand. Is a hen do. It's a hen knight. Or or a hen hen you're do. Hen English knight. translate. Uh, there you go. Okay. Teaching you everything. I can totally calendar. fit into the UK now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello, gents. Let's go have a hen do. Gus, I think you might have to take care of his hat, actually. Yeah, You're, you, like, becoming want, more British than him. Do you want to go, <laughs> go fly a blimp with me? <laughs> <laughs> you got to grow your hair out a little yeah. bit and get it, like, wavier. I can totally do Dude. that. I've done that before. I've seen you with long hair. It looks pretty good. Yeah, that's right. I did yeah. it at the, at the old office. I yeah. went, like, a year and a half without cutting my hair. But that was directly off the shaving it the whole time. Yeah, right? it's, and it's not because... I was trying to grow my hair out. It's just I kept forgetting to get a fucking haircut. That's absolutely where I'm at right now. I was going to do it yesterday. I was going to do it the day before. I was going to do it tonight. You're, I just you haven't yet. haven't yet. You're on the brink of what? Like, that looks almost like a year of growth. Nah. It's like a couple months. Nah, bollocks. Yeah. Bollocks. Nah, you, Gavin says no. Nah, this is like a couple months. You're a liar. I probably got a haircut. Uh, you must have had it cut pretty long then. Uh, it was cut pretty long. It was like probably like May then. But the same reason I had long hair when I was... 15 or whatever is because you have really long hair i just i just forgot to get a haircut for 18 months was the only reason well that wasn't that also because like your parents would have to drive you there because you're pretty young no right? i could walk okay. everyone starts to drive him everywhere walk. as it is already Fair it's true yeah so like, hey, more rides now he can drive, than he was when he was a kid he could drive just as much now as he could when he was 12 <laughs> he literally has not increased his driving capacity at all no, except, can i get a ride home after this and last week, okay, and last week. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, he's full of the vinegar. We're done with the podcast. I, I'm, like, hanging out here. I go to the fucking studio. Yeah, I finish right, up some work on my desktop. I leave. I'm out getting onto the interstate, and I get a text from Gav. Hey, can I get a ride home? <laughs> so I have to stop. No, around. you didn't have to. I was like, because on the phone, you were like, oh, I already left you, idiot. I was like, all right, no worries. And you were like, no, no, wait. I'll come back. <laughs> I was like, oh, you don't have to. I came back and picked you up. What the fuck were you doing? It's not like I, it's not like the podcast turned off and I just fucking well, ran out the door. Well, usually you hang around for a while. And I don't like, hang around for shit. You used to hang around all the time. No, no, no. Gus never. Gus You would come, you, Gus is no, you would come back. It is over and he's you would, gone. You would do a little bit of diddling on the, on the podcast or whatever. Listen to Holt. Yeah, that's back before Patrick started doing all the work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just forgot. I was sat right, at my desk. I was like, forever. why don't you ask Patrick for a ride then? <laughs> <laughs> He's here. He doesn't live oh. six feet from where I live. Speaking of where we live, um, this morning before I came down to 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 work, yeah. I got a knock on my door like at 8.30 in the morning. I didn't do it. And cool. I went out there. It was uh, AT&T was out there. And uh, they were like, can we go into your backyard? We're going to be st- we're, we're installing fiber optic here in <gasps> your neighborhood. Oh, shit. And I was like. Go right ahead. Oh. Do, do you want so some lemonade? Can yeah. I massage your back? Yeah, they're, they're launching the service next month. Holy Dude. shit. They're, we're going to have, uh, in the, the neighborhood we live in, we're going to have gigabit internet. D- yeah. Yes. I'm in an apartment complex. Suck it. My beer is wet. <laughs> <laughs> so not only is Google Fiber coming next year, but at and is already rolling out. Uh, a gig- they're not going to launch it with a gigabit. It's only going to be 300 megabit. Only. only. <laughs> they're going to turn it up to a gigabit next so year. So how much is that going to cost? I don't know. But I want it. I, I want it. Mm-hmm. It's worth it, I'm sure. I, I, yeah. I mean, we, we previously Fall. had AT&T Fall, internet at the Congress office for Rooster Teeth, and it was the worst thing in the world. I don't know if you remember it. Uh, here's it what, was fucking terrible. Here's what I remember is it took us like a month uh, longer than we thought it was going to to get out of the old office. So your solution was let's buy a clear and run the entire office's internet off of that. See, I like that you're telling the story like this Uh-oh. because Brandon's telling me the story in my ear. I'm the one who fucking did it. Okay. <laughs> like, what so, we did, Gus, is we bought a clear and so we hooked it Brandon up to a Brandon bought Mac a Mini. clear and that internet was faster than our fucking AT&T internet. Yeah, like a 3G hotspot. Yeah. We ran everything off a 3G hotspot yeah. just because it was better. What are you doing, Gavin? I just realized this isn't an opener. I've got this no. thing. Are you a fucking idiot? That is a sweet hey. keychain. Cheers, boy. Yeah. Dude. Um, so Brandon yeah, bought it just to be the, clear. Uh, that DSL was awful. It was fucking miserable. See, at the moment I'm on Time Warner. Carry nice shirt. What kind of how, how, what kind of internet do you have? How, fifty gigs. Fifty megs. Yeah, fifty yeah. megs. <laughs> fifty gigs. It's the year twenty five fifty. Gina. Uh, yeah, fifty megs down, and like five up. 
Okay. And it's That's bad. Really not bad. It's not good. You literally have the same amount of internet that we have for our entire studio. Yeah. 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 And I you're have saying that. that's bad? I think, I think I have that exact same thing. I have Time Warner as well. It's like the, the super highest package, I have one below that. Ray has that. Like the highest fucking package is for – it, it might be higher call. than the one at the office. Oh, shit. Yeah, your phone's ringing. Come on. Let me answer it on the podcast. Let's go. Oh. Gavin, Gavin not only took his phone away, he threw it into the couch cushion so you couldn't get it. He'd rather lose it Dude, forever. I had it in my hand. Gosh, you should have just snatched it, man. He put, God, it, he yeah. put it right back up there. Uh, no, he flipped it over. It's okay. Yeah. But like, <laughs> the, uh, the fastest internet package is like for a small – it's like office space. So like all the employees can use it at the same time. Ray's like – yeah, that'll do for me. And you got that <laughs> package. But I have one below that. And it's fucking amazing compared to here because there's 85 people here and the internet's just like drained. So many times I'll just walk across the street and like upload a video at home like so we, eight it's times so much easier. We don't have like a business one. We have just regular. Ours is business. Well, what's business about it? Uh, all <laughs> it does is it, it guarantees certain amounts of uptime as well as uh, the speed will maintain a certain level all the time. Whereas at home, you might lose speed more often or you well, can like be down for a while. Well, like throttling and stuff. Right. Oh. Well, so, and plus, we have static IPs and okay. shit like Fancy that. Fancy stuff. Uh, I think at home, I have 20 megabits down and like 2 megabits up. I don't need a lot. I don't see the need a lot for anything <coughs> faster than that. I think I'm at like 30 but and 3. as and soon as perfect. they offer me fiber optic, <coughs> well, I'm yeah. fucking getting it. It doesn't yeah. matter. So all with all those PS4 games you're going to be downloading. That's a good point. If it was like 300 bucks. Well, month, that's crazy. Would you do it? For, for gigabit? Mm -hmm. Well, here's the problem I would have with that. Is in Kansas City, Google Fiber, which is gigabit, is only like... 60 or $70 a month. Right. So I, I would not in good conscience pay $300 a month for it now. So what you're saying is RT Kansas City, just pick everybody up. Move They're them. coming to Austin. Austin. And then we'll move them back. <laughs> <laughs> Without any pause. Uh, but yeah, we, we're, uh, we're having to actually get additional <laughs> internet capacity here just because there's so many fucking people yeah. always uploading. Dude, bust us. Like I, I started wondering if people. our internet was acting people. up. So I started monitoring like our download and upload speeds, and as soon as people get here in the day, it's like pegged. Upload speed is just like flatlined the whole day Jesus. Really? until people leave at the end of the day. Then so why is it then that I'm not supposed to watch Netflix now for uh, upload speed? Well, you one of the no, I don't, it. I don't. But I'm curious because it was. I don't understand how it works. Let's just say was, he was. Yeah, let's just say. Let's just say I stream Netflix and Hulu at the same time. The let's more just say uploading that's going on, the less download capacity you have. Okay, that makes sense then. All right. Well, we could we couldn't play Minecraft the other day. Last Monday. Jesus, yeah. really? We, we wasted the whole day trying to play. Literally had to abandon it. We abandoned it. Ryan is on like uh, he comes in like three days a week now because he took two weeks that like maternity leave. You know, I think his, it's paternity leave. Is it? Yeah, at that paternity. paternity? Okay, yeah. sorry. Because he's not a mom. Sorry. He's never committed patricide. Well, yeah. So he took, like, he looked, he got clear for, like, two weeks. Since his child was born, like, within that, like, one to two week span, he took two days. Yeah. Because, one, we had a lot of work to do. He came in, and then he got, like, a cold, so his wife sent him home. Or she sent him to work every day. <laughs> She's like, fuck off, you're going to work. Every yeah. day, we're like, Ryan, I, like, I thought you were taking vacation. He's like, nah, I'm not allowed to stay at home. Yeah. So, like, fi that's finally, like, over. So he's catching up on his, uh, his days. So he's, like, taking off two days a week until he uses all those. And he's coming in on, like, Monday and Wednesday. So Monday, we tried to film the Minecraft Let's Play. It was, like, all day fighting with the internet trying to film it. We had to, you know, just, like, skip it. We couldn't do it. And then we had to wait till Wednesday just because he wasn't in on Tuesday. So, like, Fuck. we had to wait two days just to film it because we couldn't fucking. Because there's no system. Because Carrie was on Netflix. fucking Netflix and Hulu. Thanks, Carrie. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And so, YouTube. Since you this, ruined that Let's Play. Uh, since no this is a bachelor party. Yeah. And, uh, Stag, dude. Where we were having no, a good time. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to get a stripper. To come and right. entertain us. All right. Obviously, we didn't. But we could not do that. Is we Chris could not find a stripper fast if enough. If Blaine comes out here, I'm going to leave. <laughs> so we found... I'm going to stay. The next best thing. All right. All right. Uh, so we have someone here to provide us some bachelor party entertainment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got a... Uh, come, join. This is, this is a long <laughs> <over -pause. laughs> we, we got What's going on? A clown. Nice. <laughs> Have a seat there in the middle. Yeah. Right in the middle. Right who's, in the middle. Who's gonna, who's gonna make us balloon animals? Oh, oh fucking sweet. awesome! Balloon animals during the podcast. <laughs> That's awesome. I want a penis. While, while he's getting set up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this. <laughs> okay. While I'm, while I'm here for a second. <laughs> Thanks, man. He had one ready. Uh, here, let me, let me grab that. You've probably tried Hulu.com. Now with Hulu Plus, you can watch your favorite shows anytime, anywhere. Hulu Plus lets you watch thousands of hit TV shows and a selection of acclaimed movies on your television or on the go with your smartphone or tablet. 
and it all streams in HD for the best viewing experience. With Hulu Plus, you can watch your favorite current TV shows like Saturday Night Live, Community, and Red vs. Blue. You can also check out exclusive content including Hulu Originals like The Awesome starring SNL Seth Meyers and Moon Boy starring Chris O'Dowd from Bridesmaids. Hulu Plus also offers a great selection of acclaimed films. For only $7.99 a month, you can stream as many TV shows and movies as you want, wherever you want. Right now, you can try Hulu Plus free for two weeks when you go to HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. That's a special offer for everyone watching and listening. Make sure you use HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth so you get the extended free trial and they know that we sent you. Once again, that's HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. I'm excited about these balloon animals. I just Dude, tweeted. Yeah, me too. <laughs> is, that a, is that a sword or something? Well, I can do a sword. This oh. is actually going to be a longhorn sword. Oh, my God. This you should be a longhorn. Like, Mogar wait, sword. I mean, I love longhorns. Go Austin. <laughs> I'm a 17th generation Austinite. <laughs> my beard is UT colors. Oh. <laughs> My beard was alive before me. I grew into it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got to be now the, the most easily the most absurd podcast I think yeah. uh, that should, we've done. Should we take a second to say we like Jack, or should we just? Oh, like... we love Jack. Yeah, okay, he's all right. Good. You know, he's okay. He's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. hope no one misconstrues it as like. Yeah, I want to make sure. A mean spirited. No, we will verbally trash Jack, but top dude. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I yeah. think you know, generous guy. It's like yeah. family. Generous with his time and with his love. <laughs> <laughs> Should Katie like watch out? Like you guys got some on the side, or like what's going on? Oh, dude, it's a hat. Oh, is it it's a hat? A longhorn hat. It's absolutely a longhorn hat. You have to wear it, Gav. I'll Throw wear it on, Gav. Throw yeah. it on. I already got a hat, Gavin. Yeah, right. got hats over here. Get rid of these goom glasses. Goom. It says groom. You know that, right? <laughs> did you say goom? No, they're goomba glasses. <laughs> did you really just call them goom glasses? <laughs> you did. My head's a little You're bit fucking too dumb. big. Oh, you got it. You're good. Nah, hey, perfect. Hey, hey. You're fine. Maybe I need like a chin strap. <laughs> Do you need a dog? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm just hearing constant laughter from the control room. I'm really glad we did this. I'm really this having a lot of fun. This case. is easily the most fun I've ever had at any bachelor party. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ever. What does that this say is... about the bachelor parties you've been to? This is mean easily not my enough. first bachelor party no, ever. Great. We need to get oh, more nice. Larry. No, this is the ba- I'm, I'm saying with you. Yeah, I'm trying to ruin it for you. No, this is, this is, the, this is awesome. Oh, okay. No one's drunk. We're not getting kicked Shit. out of a strip club. Well, it's Excalibur. Yeah. Oh, oh, let me grab sweet. that. Thank you. Look at that, dude. Oh, my glass was doing a little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Can we don't, have like full Don't bring on, a sword to a bachelor full party. Full on cock and balls. Full on cock and balls. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> All right. That's kind of like... I normally don't do this for parties, but then again, my What kind of parties do you usually get It for? is a bachelor party. Like, are we talking kids parties usually? Mostly kids parties. Ah, interesting. Mostly kids Let's parties. get a bit saucy tonight then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right at this right do. <laughs> He's like measuring He's out. thinking about it. Jack just texted me. I'm, 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 you know. Jack just texted. <laughs> what the awesome. fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Nice. It's like, it's like handle balls. Wow. <laughs> Look at the cheeky bell end. That was good. That was very, like, that was quick. You know what? I like, I like, want, it was good. He thought about it, but he had to think. Because if it yeah. was like, oh, give me a cock and hey, balls, it was like, hey, done. Touch the side, your profile. <laughs> Gus, Gus, you better watch out, dude. I'll chop that dick right off. This balloon's we'll pink. Right I off. have high hopes for what the next thing is. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't grab so it and breast, do something with it. Breast cancer okay, awareness. Fair enough. Come on. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was the no shave thing. Uh, uh, Jack, uh, I'm gonna text yeah. you, but I'm I'll Carrie, also tell you on the stream in case you're watching. He's making a badge. No. Nice. Hey! It's a badge. It is. We're having <laughs> an honorary Gavin, bachelor party give me one for of you, Jack. Hey, Gavin. Barbara, if you're watching, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> why, Barbara? She always does that. Like, yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> why? Why not? You're, it could why be not? me. I'm right here. Hey, yeah. Gus. Uh. Yeah. Thank you. I'm texting him. Hey, Gavin, honorary. Can you pass me the vagina. Yeah. Bachelor <laughs> party. Yeah, yeah I have to say you. that. Throw that. Carries. Oh. Wait. Oh, I looped it. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, look, if you can give me the vagina. The there you go. Right Carries. Did you use protection, Michael? What's up? Did you use protection? With the sword? No. <laughs> Don't worry, Gavin. It was still sheath. I'll take that. I got a sword and a dog now. <laughs> I got a sword and a dog. I'm ready, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to go on a quest. Gus, you are, you are living fable right now. <laughs> you has got to follow a gold let's, line let's on roll. the ground, I'm set. <laughs> you got to follow a gold line that's going to work about 35% of the time. Jesus, if I we're hated lucky. that line. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so is the new fable game a next-gen game? I have no idea. Like the one that's like Borderlands style, where it's like four-player? They just it, announced it, like it, right? Fable Legends or something Yeah, like that? they didn't announce a platform for it. Oh, my eye. Shh. You're giving me eye herpes. 
Carrie, it's a sword. We oh, went over right. it. Yeah. <laughs> You've got some kind of phallic saying that. obsession here. Yeah. What? It's like, I have a vagina on my head. You keep calling me clearly <laughs> not. It's a sword. You know, if anything, you know, oh shit, you might have tetanus. So, uh, are you like the opposite of a dickhead right now? <laughs> <laughs> Clunch head. <laughs> Clunch head, I like it. What's that? What are, what are we? What are we getting now? Is that another, little another smaller dog? Yeah, oh, it's a little mouse. Oh, oh a little mouse. Oh, yeah. Dude, we have one of those tail. next doors for a while. Gavin, it's like those Can you do the little mice? Like just the tail goes like. Whoop. Like oh, you mean where? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that skill. Yeah, we do have a mouse in the studio next door. We there was one over here I too. Can't there is. Stood him uh, I think somebody saw it during the live stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was impressive in itself. It was like in there. Like, oh, dude, it, yeah. Yeah. oh wow. Yeah. Like we were being too. I mean, no. There's no. The there's no rodents in Why here. Why do we have a fucking rodent in I here? I don't know. The door was open for a while. Somebody let Carrie in. Uh, I don't know what that um, was. So Jack has not replied. Hopefully that <laughs> doesn't mean that he's angry with us for having a bachelor party and not inviting him. Well, he didn't invite me, so. Well, it is his <laughs> wedding. He can do it. That is fair enough. It is okay. weird it's to have a bachelor party wedding. for someone, and he's not he there. If you want to. Yay. Yeah, he can you did it. Wow, That's look at that. Awesome. You got the little tail thing, dude. That, look, that is good. Gavin, yeah. don't bite it. Looks okay. like you're going to take a bite out of it. Do it. And pop that there. <laughs> well, it can answer your phone you for you. It's like pop around balloons, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's what in bad man? taste. <laughs> let's, let's see what Jack says now. Oh, oh, is he answering or is he typing? He said there was less vagina hats at his. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, it's better. So we win. This is a this was a, a very last oh. minute thing. I was a little upset that Brandon kept telling me that we were going to have. I tip my vagina to you. Uh, uh, a special performer tonight. I wish I I wish I'd been caught off guard. He was re <laughs> he was really happy about trying to organize it, and I was like trying to avoid learning anything about uh -huh. it. I was like, just set it up, just let it happen. I, I just let it so wait, has to be natural. How last minute is this? It was pretty last minute. So you're like a, just the last minute clown. Just last minute, <laughs> you need a clown. <laughs> you need a clown, you need to get rid of a dead body, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I the gotcha. wolf in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Slaughter's 15 minutes away. I'll be there in eight. Yeah. You guys need a room painted? Let me know. Yeah. He's like, I need you to clean out the car. Ready? Don't worry about it. Also, here's a vagina balloon. I got you covered. I, I, I hate to ask, what do I got here? That's a rabbit. Oh, it is oh, a it rabbit. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it totally is a rabbit. Yeah. yeah. Totally. <laughs> this like you say it, so it. I hate to ask. It yeah. It's like it's yeah. so yeah. obvious. <laughs> I was like, I was trying to figure it out. That's awesome. This is, I never had this when I was a kid. This is great. Yeah. yeah. Did you have balloon animals when you were no. a kid? No. Absolutely not. I, I didn't. went. You know, I got. I got a party at my own house. Like I, got, I live here. One year I got like you know Dave and Buster's. The greatest. You got Dave and Buster's. One year. You're living the, the dream, buddy. The greatest party I ever had uh, when I was a kid was, I think, when I was nine. We were, I rented, or my parents rented Predator on VHS for me. <laughs> and all my friends came <laughs> over and we watched Predator. Oh, so you got like a mental scar awesome. for your birthday? Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was so stoked. My friends for years after afterwards talked about that birth. Oh. Like, oh, I remember when we went to your house and watched Predator. That was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> like, that was oh, a stand-up event. In yeah, there. everyone was like, that was the greatest party ever. <laughs> that was the best dude ever. Were? I was friends with a bunch of losers. What do you think, man? <laughs> Look at me. You think I had any cool friends? No. <laughs> Look, we were the type of people who talked about watching Predator on VHS for years. Do you think you have cool <laughs> friends now? <laughs> Look at you guys. No. Do you not think I'm a cool friend? You're wearing what? a longhorn on your head. He's wearing a vagina on his head. That's, That's pretty awesome. Totally hey, I'm I'm dressed pretty classy though. Michael is yeah. dressed pretty classy. I'm Thanks, ear gotcha. deep in vagina right That's now. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, I'm gonna chop that right off your head if you don't watch it. All right. I like watch, the weird like the vagina or I like the weird double clit at the end. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, dude, twice your... the pleasure. <laughs> yeah, double <laughs> the pleasure. Is it possible to rib a balloon? Yeah, I, 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 someone grab that. I'm, I'm overloaded. Oh, here. This, right. yeah. Butterfly. Oh, okay. oh, that's pretty shit. Sweet. Dude, Butterfree. <laughs> Dude, no. Butterfree. It's like the... Uh, oh. yeah, that's good. What? What did you say? Someone said something in my ear. Kara wants boobs? Kara wants <laughs> boobs. All right. That's just two balloons, isn't it? That's <laughs> <laughs> not really a chance. Oh, hey. <laughs> Actually. Now he's rummaging. Uh, Let's see what I have. What's in that magical suitcase? Oh, Gus, get this thing out of my face, man. What? What? What are you doing? What? What's, what are you freaking out? No, I'm looking on the screen. It's oh, like, oh, right. shit, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking through the Twitter feed here, which is filled with what it? the hell is going on? <laughs> I, what the fuck am I I really watching? want somebody to tune in right now. For those of you just tuned in. A goddamn party, Carrie. Look, a goddamn uh, party's going on right now. I just looked at No, no, you're doing it wrong. 
Oh. Goddamn parties, what's going on? <laughs> oh. Sup, ladies. Didn't expect to get so wet during the podcast <laughs> oh, this Jesus. night, did you? <laughs> Surprise. Like the return of Dilsenberg. <laughs> Beard deep in the pink. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get to go all the way down. Oh my god. <laughs> so the, the This is good. This yeah. is this is this is quality content. Yeah. He's gonna pass out in a minute. <laughs> he's he's a professional. He's a trooper. He's a this professional, is, Gavin. This is what he does. Come on. For at least an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Does that mean if Look, the, boobs? The, yeah, there you there, go. Whoever asked for boobs, <laughs> there you go. Done. Oh, Can we get yeah. a sharpie and draw some nips? Can we get some nips on them bad that's, boys? <laughs> that's the thumbnail, right? Is the clown? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that that's is fast. that that's is uh, ballooning on the fly. That's fucking timing, right? <laughs> that is experience. <laughs> All right, this well, is going to be the worst is, audio yeah. version Ooh, of the podcast. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> we appreciate you taking the time oh, to come uh, on out. I have one. Anytime, guys. That was What's your name? Ask. I'm sorry, I didn't ask. o the Clown. Hey, Thank shout you for joining us. Stretcho. Thanks for coming out. Do you have a the, Twitter? The, <laughs> the most fun I've had, I think, with a guest on the podcast. Yeah, pretty great. And we're, and we're left Seriously. with prizes. I've got a boob in my hand. I've got a dog and a rabbit and a sword over here. There's a weird titty butterfly up here. Uh, has this ever been done fly. before? Has that ever been done? <laughs> Dude. I don't. Th I think you're revolutionizing porn, Carrie. <laughs> this looks like a giant eye. eye. <laughs> the the mouse it's, it's is fucking quality Sauron. right there. Okay, <laughs> Gavin. Gavin, yeah. direct your nose towards that mouse over there. That's quality. And then he did the little bip on the tail. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Shout out to Stretcho. Yeah. <laughs> Much love for Stretcher. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking awesome. That was pretty cool. That was Do you cool. think Jack's now annoyed that our bachelor party was better than the one probably. he went to? He's probably annoyed he wasn't invited to his own he bachelor party. Stretch, right? <laughs> he didn't have Stretcher. He certainly he, he did not. He did have mini golf, though. And he went that's to that true. fucking go-kart place that I've been wanting to go to forever. That son of a bitch. That K1. Oh, yeah. Racing. The go-karts go like 45 miles an hour there. What? Yeah, Adam was saying that he injured his neck or something while he went there. Oh, shit. That's awesome. Can, have yeah, you oh, shit. That's awesome. Anyway. Well, no, it's cool. <laughs> uh, can you put go-karts on? What was the racetrack that they built here? Or the, are going to like the Circuit of the Americas? Yeah, can they just put a go-kart on that? I'm sure you could. That'd be fucking awesome. Yeah. But that'd be cool. Yeah, I was making a the, face. I, I was waiting for the, like the terrible reason that. No, that's it's bad. just like that'd be so slow on like, I guess like it's true. cars normally go like 300 miles an hour on that. You'd be going like 45. Okay. <laughs> it would point. take forever. <laughs> Fair point. Yeah. I want to have time carry. Yeah, I'm gonna Jesus. move to Kansas City now. <laughs> I'm out. Like you would never have to hit the brake on that go-kart. <laughs> You'd literally be flooring it the whole way, going like, I could be going faster. <laughs> A go kart towed by an F1 car would be pretty fun, though. That would be fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. You have seen a Formula One race. I'm not. forgetting to use my mm. cup. Where'd it go? It's this weekend. I have a cup. Oh, here it is. Oh, is it? Are you going? Oh, really? Where's your no. cup, Carrie? It's like 300 bucks, isn't it? Okay. Is it? I thought there were cheaper seats than that. Oh, really? I don't know. There's no <laughs> point in uh, Xbox One. There's no point in going to one, though. You just see, like, one corner of the race. Right. You get no, have, no, you, have you ever been to an F1 race? I've filmed it before. Mm. But I mean, filming just it is just normal. like watching it. You're at this one point the whole time. Yeah, but I feel like, I don't know, is there like, like why do people go to F1? F1 races are fucking popular as shit. Yeah. Right? There's like every hotel is sold super. out. There's definitely a lot you don't get from the TV is that it's just loud as hell. Yeah. Like, I feel like it'd be more interesting really than a NASCAR race because at least there's, you know, corners. Right turns? Yeah. 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 F1 I, has uh, it's like crazy turns, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's why it's better yeah. than NASCAR. Yeah, that's oh, why I, think, I thought NASCAR. you said NASCAR oh, was no, better. No, no, no. God, yeah. no, no. Please, Gus. Yeah, no. I, was, I was about to have a major problem with you, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how, how much did the tickets cost? Like $400? I thought I thought you could get them as cheap as like $70. It, like, it seems like the better value is go buy an Xbox One, buy fours of five, and sit in the menu until it starts auto racing. I just like how <laughs> Gavin <laughs> like, stands. the same view. Gavin stands no ground on anything. You're just like, oh, I don't need the tickets. Gavin's like, dude, they're like 300 bucks. And you're like, oh, I heard they were cheaper. He's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> that was his fucking idea. response. Yeah. I was like, oh, I made that number up. I don't know. I mean, I don't have the source to hand, so I'm not going to argue it, am I? You're terrible. Hey, I read it somewhere. Article. Yeah. I heard from a guy that's something. I don't have any references. Yeah. No. There's, there's no, like, little one in, in brackets next yeah. to your, your in sentence. square brackets. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, work on that, Gavin. <laughs> you know, fucking technology. Um, but yeah, I mean, the thing, the thing that's crazy to me about the F1 race being in Austin is how much. Like, how uh -oh. difficult it is to get a vagina. hotel room anywhere. Carry, no. Or, like, how much people will rent their houses out for during that weekend. Like, there's a, there's a condo downtown that I realized I'd never been to. And I always wanted to see what, like, the inside of one of those condos was like. So I was like, oh, I'm going to look it up online. I'm going to see how much, like, to do, like, HomeAway or Airbnb. Maybe yeah. I'll stay there a night just to see what the condo's like. Uh, 
and it was little fucking g- crazy ridiculous. Little getaway. It was, it was that expensive. weekend. Uh, well, no, just a normal like any normal night at that condo was crazy, and you had wow. to rent like a minimum of three nights. So I didn't do it. Fuck but that. during F one weekend, you could rent that condo for twenty thousand dollars. Holy shit! I was Jesus. Like, Who the fuck comes to town? Drops twenty thousand dollars on accommodation for a weekend. That's F1 crazy. Is, F1 probably is the people ridiculous. racing. That's crazy. But seriously though, when the next F one, I have a spare bedroom, ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Bed and breakfast. I will. I'll make you smoothies. Well, Michael you're, you're Rachel Jones. about it. You could rent it for a lot of money. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. So ten thousand dollars. If you honestly, if you throw smoothies in, I'll go. I'll yeah, do it. Smoothies. Yeah. I bought a. Blender. I don't even care about the race. I made Carrie a smoothie. I made Gavin a smoothie. Yeah, yeah he did. I made Barbara a smoothie. Smoothies all around. Yeah. Gosh, you didn't come over. You want a smoothie? I mean, they had to come over to my house. For a smoothie. Yeah. It I'll makes, bring you one. Uh, yeah, right. I don't make you feel worse. He actually made me two smoothies. Oh. <laughs> one was berry and one was peanut butter and chocolate. Oh, <laughs> damn. That sounds it good. It was really good. <laughs> Is this with your fancy blender? No, it wasn't really fancy. It's a fancy I mean, blender. It's a nice blender. What's it, the deal with your blender? <laughs> it's a, it's Gavin made it out a little more elaborate than it is. It's no, that's pre, pretty great. It's, uh, it's just like pre-programmed. So like pretty much all I'm ever going to use it for is mixed drinks. And there's a mixed drinks button. So you just turn it on and then push a button. Here's the cool thing and about then, like, it. like 25 seconds. You put it does giant it scoops of peanut butter in there, and it like churned like a little bit, and was like, oh, what's what's this peanut yeah. butter? Well, that's oh, what I'm gonna go before. fucking crazy like, now. Oh, oh, chop it up. Oh, tease it a little bit, and way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, it's top. super efficient. It's good, man. Yeah. Someone please explain what is happening. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> um, fun, so laugh, ki- good times. What kind of mixed drinks do you make with a blender? I haven't made. Uh, like I made sh- strawberry smoothie. Well, isn't every drink mixed in a blender? No. Even just strawberry on its own is a mixed drink. Oh, you're losing your hat, Gavin. Like a vodka soda. Like booze drink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. That's I, what I assume. Mixed drink means like a booze drink. I right? haven't. Oh, I haven't made booze drinks yet. Only because I got the blender Saturday. Didn't think about it. Was gonna make them Sunday. Can't buy alcohol on Sunday or liquor on oh. Sunday. So I haven't made any uh, like alcohol. I, I gotta be honest. When I when you said on Sunday like, hey, do you want to come over and have a smoothie? I was a little disappointed when it didn't have alcohol in it. Yeah, I was why really... the fuck would I say smoothie? Like, I don't know. Like, who the fuck ever says, like, want a smoothie? Y'all you are over 21. You don't have to use code anymore. Here's yeah, the thing. You can a, literally a, say, I, if my you want to get drunk. Smoothie, man. I would have been I've like, never I'm had... fucking throwing Everclear in a glass. Are you drinking it? I would say that. I've never had a beverage at your house that was not alcoholic until yesterday. I'm sorry that I, I didn't live up you, to my own standards. Are you spitting in the face of the man who gave you a peanut butter and chocolate know, smoothie? Right? Fair enough. All right. Yeah. And what a fucking bitch. And a, bitch. Vodka and a mixed berry Get in your blender and fly away, I can't believe you I'm gave going, me two yeah. smoothies with no alcohol. I'm going to get my what blender to go to Kansas head. City. I'm out. But uh, <laughs> Keeping the hat. I've only, I've only tried the, the recipes that come with the fucking blender. Like, I haven't even gone past that yet. And there's, a, a, there's like ten recipes in it that are delicious. But Is it a Blendtec blender? No, it's Oster. Oh, okay. Fine uh, products. The only uh, – the, the, the liquor one I want to try is the strawberry daiquiri. All I need to do is buy rum, and I need to buy a frozen, um, frozen limeade, I think. Like mm-hmm. a six yeah. ounce, one of those frozen limeade things. Those are good. And it's all just like other shit you have. It's it's always like ice and milk or shit like that. I went through a period where I tried to make pina coladas at home mm-hmm. just because I watched like a documentary about alcohol. So what right. do you need? Pineapple and what else? It's like uh, you coconut. Need cream and, of coconut. Yeah. That's in there as well, the recipe. Cream of coconut? It's basically coconut milk. Oh, okay. Yeah. With liquor. With rum. Yeah. And uh, I could never get the ice crushed right. Really? I, was, I was always so disappointed in my blender that you I could need, not need? crush ice. Awesome blender. I do need an Oster. <laughs> an Oster blender. Oster? Yeah. Oster? I'm sounds, not sure. It sounds like a Nazi it. sympathizer it's, to it's me. It's <laughs> O-S-T-E-R. Yeah. But it's got like the a fancy O with the diamond yeah. in the yeah, middle. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It sure does, Gus. I know. <laughs> Believe me. Cheers. Cheers. I did not. I think I had like a Black & Decker or some cheap shit. Yeah, I went A and Black & Decker? I, yeah, there's a Black & Decker. I specifically... That's they make drills and they stuff. They make all kinds yeah. of shit, but they do a make drills. Just a blender is just a drill. A blender is just a drill with a yeah. special <laughs> bit on it. It's it yeah. a drill with a knife at the end of it. Yeah. yeah, so if you put like a weird tri-curved blade on a drill, is yeah, that a blender? It's a blender, yeah. yeah. It's like you can just shove into a bucket. Wedge it in a pineapple. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You, I'm gonna you do literally that. could just have a glass, put a drill with a blender blade on it, and just fucking blend it. Sounds right like in the it. best slimmer guys I've ever made. That's what this sounds like. <laughs> That's what said, it sounds like how you ruin your camera. We were, at, <laughs> yeah. we were at Walmart. Lindsay and I were at Walmart. We were just buying groceries. We're, we're walking out. Before Anna was like, let's get in, get out. We're, we're leaving. We're going to check out. I passed by a little packet of like banana smoothie. That's like, you know, a dollar or something. And all it is is like the powder. And it's like, oh, you mix this with ice and milk and one banana. And that's it. And I'm like, is we should fucking get this. But why? That is a banana smoothie, anyway, isn't it? Without the powder. 
Yeah, but the powder is like extra flavoring and shit. It's probably See, that sugar. Cheapens it for me. I was just sugar. Not really. It's mostly sugar. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's basically sugar. It's it's like fl- banana flavored sugar is what it is. Yeah. It's like to kick it up a notch. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, I grab it. I'm like, all right, last okay. minute buy. We should get Shut this. The guy and she's like, all right, great. Uh, we don't have a blender. I'm like, obviously, let's go buy a blender because we were in Walmart. I'm like, D- it'll be like five minutes. How many blenders are going to be? There's like a hundred blenders at Walmart. Really? I, I was there for like 20 minutes. There was a classic piece of shit blender that I grew up with. It's just like just that white blender with like mm-hmm. the eight huge buttons on yep. the front. The, the black and Decker blender. No, not black and Decker. Black and Decker was a step above that. Okay. That was like the 1999 white blender. The black and Decker blender was like. Thirty dollars. That's like a Hamilton Beach or something. Yeah, there, that was there too, and then and then like the, it, it was <laughs> just the, the top of we'll the line. Shit on the other the ones. top of the we'll line the was the fucking food, the food ninja or like the ninja. Okay, I yeah, saw that shit. One. It did not work. I went there that same oh? day. No, 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 I went there that same day that you did. I was just at Walmart earlier that day. How do you know what day it was? You following it was me? Saturday. Fuck. Yeah. Because okay. you said it. I know, I did. Uh, and I pushed the button because I thought I could start blending in the middle of Walmart. No well, shit. It doesn't no work. I like your hand off. said it didn't work. I'm like, oh, you, it, it was broken? No, I tried to use the fucking f- the ninja. And it, well, why it would they have it out? out? What's the point? Carrie's a fucking blender, man. <laughs> yeah, but they like, stick your arm in, in place. You're going to drop a so, shit in there. Like every blender. <laughs> why would I've I hold seen? my baby above a blender? Why did Steve Owen do it? It would look cool in Steve Owen. It would look cool in Steve Owen. It would look cool in slow mo. Not in Steve Owen. Who knew? If they like zoomed out the photo of him holding it over the balcony it's just like a blender underneath <laughs> jesus christ well like every every blender has the little blade at the bottom right yeah. it's like the at blender the, at the bottom of the glass there's yeah. like the four or five prong blade right the 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 ninja is like a Katanas. column it's a column that goes up almost the entire blender oh, like, like a whisk like halfway up like it's a bar that goes up and there's like 87,000 blades on it. I'm like, Jesus. Like, the advertisement on the front of the, bo- on the, front of the box is like, obliterates ice into snow. <laughs> That's what it says. I'm dead wow. serious. So they don't and just take a jet engine and turn it this it's way. It's fucking hey, it's a blender now. It's, yeah. like, it's like the most obnoxious thing ever. Like, I have uh, on my counter where my blender is, it's underneath, like, you know, overhanging cabinets. I don't think it would fit under that. It's like it's like two feet tall. It's fucking enormous. That's a brag blender, that. Yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, let's check out the Hey, look at my blender. It's like throwing ninja stars inside of the thing. dollars You want to, like, fucking throw your keys in there? You just see a dude blend get a Blendtec really and put that in it. And grab <laughs> there, are, there are actual ninjas with nunchucks and throwing stars in there. <laughs> They're fucking beating the shit out of that ice. Except uh, in England, they'd be called heroes. Um, Shut up. <laughs> So what the, the great thing about getting married is when you make the registry, you got to put an even crazier, more ridiculous blender on your registry. Well, this is what right. I, I went over to your house, and it's like you've got the blender, you've got the uh, – I don't know. I forgot everything you have now. You've got a George Foreman so grill. You've, right. got, you've got a bad toaster. That's what we talked about. It's just it's like, like a generic – like equivalent to the shitty white blender. It's yeah. like the shitty $10 toaster. You've got like everything though. What are you going to ask for? I don't know because that's what Lindsay said. She's like we could literally ask for a blender. So this is what happened. You stopped spending your money on video games and now you have to buy like nice appliances. Right. That's what I'm saying. I have to buy real life things. So yeah. now he has – But it's shit that Ray Now he's got buy. video games and smoothies. Ray just buys bottled water. Ray yeah. buys but bottled water. He already bottled brought up the cheap. point that he can borrow video games from the giant library you have in your office. Right. It's true. It's like at, at night, no one's fucking filming videos here. Yeah, fucking check it out. I mean, we all get every, we all get a copy of the game anyway when it comes out, so right. just take them out. Yeah, I was a little disappointed that Minecraft is no longer a launch title on the PS4. That's yeah. the weirdest segue really? in the world. It, no, this so is very important. That was, I did not that hear was, this. Why? That was announced today. Oh, I didn't know that. Today, right? Uh, I think it was a couple days ago. Did they just was cut it, really it out? Days ago? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Peggle Two well, is they, no they, longer. They, they, they announced today that they prioritize PS3 development so that they can get current generation out. And then they're going to focus on next Why would they prioritize the old one? Why not just like right a larger installed point. base, larger installed user base? That's, that makes no sense to me. No. Uh, also, Peggle 2 is no longer Xbox launch as well. Like, everything's slipping. Hmm. Everything's not slipping. Dead Rising 3 is still launch. I'm going to play that. Dead Rising 3 yeah. is 720p. Is it really? Capped at 720p. I thought, mm. I thought all How those next games like 4K that? or something. <laughs> yeah. 720p at 30 frames. Yeah, I don't care. Are they even trying? There's anyway. probably a ton of polygons. I mean, yeah, obviously it should be 1080. Well, I mean, that's their excuse. They don't want screen tearing and like drop frame rates and stuff. Honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to deal with 720 if it means no fucking tearing. I'm so sick of goddamn tearing. I don't yeah. notice that stuff. I mean, just, I absolutely notice that. They should have. They should have delayed the game. <laughs> I guess. Well, then who's gonna buy an Xbox though? Yeah. What else is there to buy besides Forza Five? Forza. Forza. Are you gonna buy it? Do you buy racing games? I do actually, but I'm gonna wait to get an Xbox One. 
Uh, yeah, what are the other... What's the other launch titles? Like, yeah. uh, like on the PS4, I guess I'm going to get uh, Killzone. Yeah. yeah, Rise is a big one. Rise? Mm. Yeah. But if you bought a I'll brand new it. PC mm -hmm. that was, you know, meant to, be, meant to be a gaming PC and yeah. it could only run stuff at 720p, you'd be annoyed, right? Well, that, uh, no, that's totally different, though. That's the PS... That's the Xbox running 720. Yeah. I not know. the PC. I know. I'm just saying, saying is... You'd be pissed if you had a PC. It's 2013. Okay. End of. But yeah. you don't plug your PC into a television. You plug it into a monitor. Yeah. Like, your TV only does 720p or 1080p. Ideally, you would never encounter the situation because a computer monitor can be much higher resolution. Because it's smaller. I know. I understand. I just see how that, I don't see how that's relevant. I just think that you would never encounter that situation. I, yeah, I, the, okay, the, you're making the game is limited to 720p. You're making, for the yeah. sake of argument. Uh, yeah, you're right. I would be upset yeah. about yeah. that. Yeah, fair enough. That's my that's my only point. Well, all right. I'm, yeah, I'm still gonna play it. All right. Way to be a downer. I'm, gonna play it. I'm not gonna be a little. I'm gonna play it. it. I'm gonna love it. But I'm gonna be playing on 100 screen. You're gonna love it. Hey, hey, hey! Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the game's not even out yeah. yet. Let's be realistic please, here. It looks 3.0 stick good, back though. in your pants. If you like Dead Rising one and two, it looks good as shit. And they got rid of the goddamn timer and shit. Oh really? Well, I actually played this one then. There's um. Those games gonna be panic attacks. Yeah, stressful as hell. From what I understand, there's. I have anxiety issues. There's like uh the regular mode which doesn't have a timer. Uh, I'm not exactly sure all the specifics about it, but then there's like a nightmare mode or something, which does have a timer, and basically that mode is supposed to be like basically the standard classic game of one and two. But the the generic like normal mode, I guess, is gonna give you like unlimited time to run around doing. I might actually play that game then. Okay. I can't. I it's funny. First, I agree with you. I fucking hate games with timers. Dead Rising is like the only game that, I, for some reason, I can. Dead play. Rising it's One. Not even that I hate this, them. I just can't do it. Yeah. To this day, I can't deal with Dead Rising One. I yeah. I finished it. I couldn't get all those like rush achievements where dude, you would like be scrambling, dude, getting, and do stuff in a certain order. Getting it's, it's, my heart. Savior yeah. was one of the hardest achievements I've What's ever got. Or which, Saint, Saint, which, which is rescue that? fifty survivors oh, in Dead Rising. Because you have yeah. to, you, if it, you miss you, deadlines, you've you, missed it. Yeah, yeah, you can you can only let like a handful of people die, like three or four die in the entire game. Like like Saint, if if that's what it's called, whatever it is, save fifty people. It's by far harder than Seven Day Survivor. Seven Day Survivor sucks and it's boring as shit. And Did you, you get to, that? Yeah, I've perfected the game. Yeah, and you have to Sorry. play the fucking game for Kevin, come on. Um, like 14 hours, I think it is. Yeah, it's like total like real-life mm -hmm. time. And that sucks, but honestly, it's, it's, it's pretty fucking easy. It yeah. really is. If you plan that shit out, like you only get screwed over by like random bullshit. Getting the perfect playthrough of 50 people is way fucking harder. And then there's another one, like Frank the Pimp, I believe. And that's the eight, for an hour. Eight, eight women at it. once. That's also a fucking pain in the ass. Yeah. I could never. I tried to get Frank the Pimp because there was Such one for eight pain. people and there was right. one for eight women. Right, so you I get thought, both at the same time. Yeah, I thought exactly. two birds, one stone. Yeah, couldn't. Do, God damn it. Eight birds. Eight birds with one stone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eight birds, two stones. Actually. There you go. Yeah. That game. Why I was, two I was, stones? Because like, you get two achievements, Gavin. That's no the, one, the, one attempt though. So it's really two birds, one stone. It's eight birds with one stone. Yeah, Is but you're not getting eight achievements though. Dude, it's two stone, two birds with eight stones. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> two birds with eight stones. stones. That's, That's a terrible That's ratio. Correct. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's four to one. That's pretty good. Uh, Have you ever tried throwing a rock in Never bird? mind. Oh, These <laughs> birds are <laughs> tricky. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to Kansas City in my blimp, and I'm going to practice <laughs> killing birds with stones. I'm going to throw them out my blimp. Uh, fucking angry blimp guy. Dead Rising That's was a fucking me. stressful game. That's the same so reason fun. I couldn't beat Majora's Mask. Like, I played through a That's ton of it. That's way less stressful. Uh, it's still stressful. Carrie, you can turn back time whenever you want. Yeah, I don't know. I just couldn't. You just gotta find a way. Yeah. <laughs> if what actually happens in Seven Days Survivor, can you pause the game? You can pause, but then your progress doesn't. Like you don't gain. So you don't have to do it in one. Actually, stint, I don't know. Though. You'd have to go like fourteen hours in one go. Or do you? I think it, it no, does I stop. Think... I think you, if you go to the, if you, like if you hit the jewel, time stops. Because it didn't Bernie do something where he would, uh, or was it you or Bernie? He someone was babysitting them, right? Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. You could pause it. You, you, you let the it. the battery run out. Right. Like the the controller go to standby, and that would pause it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could you could pause it. The problem with that was it was like when I got it, it took me like three days. I didn't do it all obviously in one sitting. It was like a weekday. I played like a few hours every night, and all it is is like fucking management. Like it it really is like you go out. You clear a section, you get like two days worth of food, and then you go hide in a room for a day and a half. But you know every I mean? survivor is trying to kill you, right? 
but they're only certain survivors are only there on certain days and they still don't go outside of their areas. Like you can go into the back room of a convenient or of like a clothing store, go into a back closet and literally absolutely no one will get you ever. So uh, at that point so, it's just food. So it's just like have a bunch of food. And so you could waste a day and a half sitting in a back room. You know what I mean? Like, like most, most often you'll have enough food for seven days by like day five. So then from that point on, it's like, don't fuck up and accidentally kill yourself and don't forget to eat, hmm. which is exactly what I did. I, thought- I died at six days, 23 <laughs> hours and 53 minutes. No. Are you serious? With over a day left of food because I was doing that on one uh, TV and then the TV 180 degrees behind me because my computer was on the other end of the room and I had a 13-inch TV because it was boring as shit and I was doing nothing but eating food. I was also playing PlayStation 2 on the other TV and I was in the final boss fight of Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus and I got oh, caught no. up in the in cinematic and I'm like, whew! And then I was just like, oh God! And I turn around and I just see my, I'm just dead on it's the like screen. You're a bad I was like, pa- dude, I, like my heart stopped. It's I was like you're a like, bad parent. You forgot to feed your I, baby? I, yeah. I was, I was, beyond words. I was. Have you ever had a Tamagotchi? If you, yeah, if, but if you go to the leaderboards, you could go to the leaderboards for Seven Day Survivor, and it would tell you every fucking single online <laughs> ranked time, yeah. like actual time. I was number one in the world that didn't get it. The <laughs> next guy above me got it. Wow. Like, I was the closest person in the entire world to fuck the achievement up. Oh, that that's is kind awful. of an achievement. On I was like, I, I quit for like two days, tried again like three days later, and then I got was it. Was that the start of Rage Quit? <laughs> it was, no, because it wasn't even like, like you can't yell and scream. Was it it's just, just Silent Rage? Were you just like, it's just like someone calls and they were just like, your son is dead. You know what I mean? It's just like, I just like collapsed on the ground. And I like cried into my pillow. <laughs> you know, I just like questioned everything. All of your life it choices. It's fucking awful. How just cu- because I was, I was fucking How was that not cut paying scene, attention. Though? Was it good? <laughs> was it action packed? No, it's a pretty <laughs> shitty game, actually. Dirge of Cerberus, pretty I've never shitty played game. It. Yeah, the, not the worst good. thing. For me, about Dead Rising 1, loved the game. It was yeah. stressful. I loved what I did in it. <laughs> Those effing raincoat cult dudes, I hate them. You know what I'm the talking what? about? The I rain- generally hate cultists the, too, the, yeah. the guys in the yellow raincoats who just stab you with knives. Are those oh, the guys yeah. that put you in the box? Yeah. Yeah. Well, as soon as they start like appearing, it was just uh-huh. like, ah, oh, this isn't fun now. This sucks. Really? Yeah, I didn't like it. Turned you off? Yeah, because they, mm. they run at you and stab yeah. you. It's like, I'm not in the mood to be stabbed by some prick Gavin, in a coat. here's what you do. You run around with fucking three mini chainsaws and, like, all the magazines to upgrade them so then you can use a mini chainsaw for, like, 700,000 enemies. It's yeah. pretty amazing. That's yeah. how you play the whole game. Yeah. Pretty much. Get some Mag- books Magazines were, are the fucking shit. They were fucking you phenomenal. Because yeah, yeah. there, like, there was, like, three magazines that all counted towards the mini chainsaw. That'd be a good... The thing was incredible. If there's anything similar like that in the new Dead Rising, like a Survivor thing, that'd be an excellent full play. Yeah, you should do it. <laughs> that might be an interesting slow-mo, guys. Watching a chainsaw cut up a piece of wood. Like, how does that actually work? Does it, like, tear the wood, like the chain? Does it, like, it's each, yeah, little, shred it's just, like, each yeah. little tooth grabs it gets, and, like, pulls like, it just, out little It's chunks? like a ton of nicks, and you see, yeah. like, tons of chunks. Oh, so you've done this already? Yeah. No, no, I've, no, I've filmed, like, everything already. All right, well, never mind. Have you filmed, like, a body? Have no. you filmed a blender? Yes. <laughs> Have you filmed the main blender? Commercials? No. Mm. Mm. With the, there's, I, ta- I talked Sounds about the, the like one. The there's like one or two things that we didn't, that I refused to film. Yeah. And one of them was the, uh, the horse execution. I tell you about that. No. Wait, what? Oh, we had a cool once where someone was. I think I've told this before. A cool or a call? A call. Cool. He, he's trying to say call. call. All right. And, uh, Thank you, Michael. Appreciate some it. scientist was researching like horse muscles and the way muscles move and stuff. All right. And there was this horse that was gonna get shot in the head and put down because it was old and okay. knackered. And they wanted to see like which muscles move first when you shoot one in the head, and uh, you wouldn't do it. I was talking to my dude who I work with, and we were just like, I don't really want to do it. <laughs> okay, is that both or one? <laughs> it's what? one. I don't know what you're talking That's about. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just a tumor. <laughs> so like they wanted to see yeah, like maybe. how death progressed through the horse body essentially. Well, because I think what happens is when you shoot an animal in the head, it doesn't fall over. Like the legs retract up into like, the body. I think like the horse's legs would go like. Oh, and then, like, it kind of retracts. And then so what, what happens is it tucks up and then hits the floor as a tucked up animal. Fucking beach volleyball over here. Yeah. So I totally agree with don't, you. Don't cut to me while I'm setting up. <laughs> so, Gavin, Spoil I told... a surprise. <laughs> Boys, the entertainment has arrived. Oh, yeah. So then we have a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me pop I them. I can't get to the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of reach. 
<laughs> now you understand the struggle, Gus. This is literally it's a not easy. It. It's this not is easy. This is the plight. So I don't have a lot of dots. <laughs> no, God. Let's all throw darts at yeah. us. <laughs> so, what could possibly go wrong? What's the other thing? You said there were two things you'd never done, or two things you turned down? Come shot. I know my all boobs right. are blocking the mic. I just fucking said that. <laughs> um, you have a come shot that you filmed in slow mo, though. I didn't film no, that. No, you didn't film it. Oh. You found it. <laughs> okay. There's a big yeah. difference. Big difference. Big difference. So, okay, go, just going back to the horse and not the semen. Um, I totally agree with you. I probably wouldn't have done it either. If they're I gonna... just don't want to see a real death in slow mo. Like, something about, like, this yeah. horse that, as it's falling to the ground, was alive, like, 0.1 of a second ago, is disturbing to me. It's I guess like... you, can, you can probably, like, distinguish the frames in which it was still alive, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And that yeah. kind of stuff is nasty. And you would have seen, like, the bullet probably come out the back uh, of the head. Yeah. Yeah. It goes from yeah. being alive to guess... being meat. Yeah. In, and you can see the moment where it changes. Usually when in a movie, someone's blasting just, the head, it's like, bleh. But it'd just be like, to play devil's eye for a second, that horse's like, life ended. And it was like, the horse was shot. Then the horse is going to get shot regardless. Yeah. So why not make the death worthwhile by contributing to Because he didn't want to see because it. Because I would have to look very closely at it and make sure it was all exposed right yeah. and in focus, and I'd have to watch it back, and I'd, all right. I might get a bit queasy. Doing I respect that, I, I get Gavin. that. Gavin. Okay. Cheers, boy. Yeah. I get that. Also, yeah, I, I'm not one for watching animals die. Neff was, Neff was on a blimp. On his way to Kansas City. <laughs> if the guy crashing the blimp yeah. shot the horse. Yeah, can we call the blimp Heisenberg? From, <laughs> yeah, the blimp yeah. Heisenberg. Yeah, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that goddamn horse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> solid follow up. I'm the solid solidarity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, that makes sense. Let's not kill horses. So, or let's just do it when I'm not looking. That's yeah, I mean, they too, did. Yeah. They did kill I the horse. So, did someone Can't else you film just, like, it in slow motion? It and then just be like, uh, uh, I'm not sure. They probably got someone else to film it. Mm. With, uh, didn't only like, don't like, good, you but, yeah, I was only like, don't two people only, only like two people in Britain own your camera, right? Well, that changed after oh, okay. we started doing it because everyone was like. Ooh. <laughs> you can make money from this. Yeah, that, that's a good business. <laughs> Everyone was like, how many guys are there? <laughs> so when are we getting the uh, the 4K one? I think it comes out in the next few months. It's supposed to be. I thought it was supposed to be fall. Oh, it was? Yeah. They suck. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they'll, they'll make it happen. Ringing endorsement from Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. If you Ma get the, many if, delays. If you get experience. the new one, can you film you smashing the old one in super slow motion? No. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Just immediately nah. Although a high-speed camera filming a high-speed camera... Never been done before. Actually, I've done that. Oh, God <laughs> damn it, Kevin. Can you film you, like, trading the old one in? What, in slow mo? Like yeah. a handoff? Here. Like, pawning it? Yeah. <laughs> like, I can give you a hundred bucks for it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to start shooting my non-slow mo bits in something 4K as well. Maybe, like, use the red or something. If only we had yeah. a billion fucking cameras yeah. that the can shoot is, 4K. The thing is about cameras like that, they look good and stuff, but they're a damn load of effort. Yeah, I like to be able to just pull out camera and just be like, there you well, go. Well, look at what we use. We have a million, or not a million, we have a couple of cameras that can shoot 4 or 5K. A million. Yeah. Look at what we fucking use for the stream. It's like the cheapest, shittiest little cameras in the world. For those who haven't seen the cameras that are filming us right now, go to Best the Buy. Tripods, the tripod head is bigger than the camera. Yeah. Also, I don't know, we replaced them before a while. The tripods were so fucked up that all the levers were missing. We had pliers attached yep. to all of them <laughs> to be able to make an adjustment. If you want to see the camera we're using, go to Best Buy, find the one that's fallen off of the display and is hanging there by the cable. That's the one we're using. I literally went to the Smart Best Buy down boy. here and I said, what's the cheapest camera you have? Yeah. <laughs> what's it, like, the only qualification is like clean HDMI out, right? Right. So it has to be a Sony. Sony consistently has a clean HDMI out. So I was go. like, give me the cheapest Sony <laughs> Handycam you have. And there it is. Oh, there it is. Out of focus. <laughs> it's self-aware. Nice. It's it's pointing itself at itself. Let's smash it. You're goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I won. I don't know how we how we devolved to melding Jack and Heisenberg yeah. together. <laughs> this is that. I think it's this. It's the hat and the glasses. It it looks like it. If Dilsenberg. Heisen, if Dilsenberg. He's got the red beard. The name's Dilsenberg. <laughs> Hang on, let me move away from the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking groom. I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> That's good, right? That's That's it's good. like I took you back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gavin, Gavin, in the next scene, come at me with a knife. Yeah? Yeah, and we'll just fucking, we'll wrestle. Oh! <laughs> 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 just immediately. Oh. 
You cut my hand. You forgot that we have plenty of knives around. Yeah. yeah. What's up, bitch? <laughs> we all, we've all got knives. I'll cut you. Knives and vaginas all, year, all day around. Yeah. Well, let's, there's only one, so let's be, let's be clear. There's one vagina. Yeah. There's a bunch of knives, Ooh. one dick, one yeah. vagina. Oh, I forgot to drink my Red Bull. It's like Smurfette. Oh, look at that. There's only one. <laughs> yeah. You're doing okay, though, right? Why are you guys looking at me funny? It's the first. That's that was Smurfette. Mickey Mouse. That's, That's a good scary. point. Right. I'm not very good at voices. Ho, ho, ho. So oh. someone tweeted, no way, those are the cameras you used to film the podcast. <laughs> yes, yes way. Dalton Thomas. <laughs> yes way, bro. That is, yeah. that is exactly We it. were filming that camera with one of those cameras. That yes. was absolutely the camera. <laughs> there are four of them. Yeah. Did you notice it was out of focus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sony Handycam. <laughs> DSC 210 or whatever the fuck yeah. it is. Yeah, you got to catch up. On the bed. It's a fucking bachelor party. Dude, you've had four. I've had, uh... Can you count? Two. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm... I... Have you ever shotgunned a beer? I can't do it. You can't? Yeah, I, I can't, can't really do the do thing where you open your gullet hole and I'm, just let I, stuff I normally out. can't either, but you can still, like, just attach it and just try to drink it as fast as you can. I never like, try yeah, it. And like, like, yeah, and then be like... Yeah. I would, yeah. Honestly, it probably just makes I'll do it. it. Hmm. We could try it. I'll do it on the podcast. Do it right now. Go. We don't have a can. I'll just... I'll open the bottle. Open the bottle. Open your mouth. I'll yeah. pour it in. That doesn't work. Yeah, we'll Have do it anyway. That would be funny. No. There's probably cans in the fridge. No, it's all bottles. Now, fuck the fridge. Next week. It's just such a useless talent to have. You can sure. do it, Kara. Somehow I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, does she pop it with it's her tooth? It's such a useless talent. I can do it. Well, I didn't even go to university or she college. Says, yeah, I've never needed to do that. <laughs> I was. Awesome. I, we've mentioned this before. Uh, and she had done it on the podcast before, but like I floated the river with Kara, and she met people on the river who she was like they were doing uh, shotguns with beers and shit, and she was biting the fucking beer can. Uh, my wife showed me a bottle opener over the weekend uh, for you know it's the kind you mount on the wall and you like pop the top off like right. the one we yeah. have in the in the studio, except. It looks like a pair of human teeth or a set of human teeth. That's she said, cool. you should print out Kara's face and put it over <laughs> that and like mount it to the wall. That looks like she opens all That'll the beers. That's be fucking creepy. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It sounds really funny, so but when it's you look do creepy. it, let me know. I yeah. want to see it. <laughs> Would you like her face on your wall the whole time? No, she meant for here at oh, the fucking studio. No. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that at home. I'd just be like, that that would be everyone crazy. would be like, who's that? Like, oh, that's Carrie. She opens your beers. <laughs> <laughs> do it by the dinner table the so it's like, yeah. it's like you're having dinner with like Esther and Carrie all the time. <laughs> Except it would be a lot quieter than actually the real thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is truth. Yeah. So, Gus, you made a change uh, recently in the podcast, in the pre-podcast. Uh, ritual? Uh, yeah, ritual. Which is uh, fucking Domino's is out. Home Slice is in. I'm glad you brought this up because I yeah. had a question for you. Yeah. Um, I bought a pizza bag. Uh-huh. Like the heat bag. Uh-huh. I bought a pizza bag. Yeah. Tell me about it, bro. Like, just like yours. Yeah. Um, I do, how do you like it compared to normal? <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I find it traps the steam and it makes the crust a little soggier. Oh, <laughs> shit. like Kevin from The Office. I know. You do. You do. <laughs> He really did. I felt. I feel like oh, with, yeah? with all the pizzas in there, hmm. like the steam can't escape, and the crust is a little soggier than normal. Like home slice go? doesn't have quite the same crispness to it, uh, hmm. as opposed to like just having it out in the open. What size bag did you get? I bought one for three pieces. Three ha- pizzas. How many pizzas do you usually get? Three. Three pizzas. I'm about to start getting four. I think hmm. they recommend. They like they started recognizing me now because I go every Monday now and get right. home slice. So now they're like, oh, you're the guy. They ask me, "Would you buy? Why are you buying pizzas every month for a podcast?" They know me as the podcast pizza guy now. Uh-huh. Nice, That's so awful name. Yeah, yeah there is definitely so, your only responsibility. It, it doesn't podcast. help that I show up with a fucking bag now. <laughs> um, Gosh, you can leave it in the car, man. You don't have to walk into the place with it. Did you but show I need up help with that? getting the pizza into there? Because like, you're trying to get three. I'm like, I need your help. It's just uh, fucking straight from the oven so to the bag. They started you recommending open the bag, and they put them in for you. Yeah, like I opened it <laughs> That's up. That's fucking made, like, funny. Do you wear that shirt while you do it? No, I didn't wear a different shirt. But they recommended I try the Sicilian next week. Which I've never had the Sicilian pizza at Home Slice. I have not either at, at Home Slice. What's yeah. the difference? Uh, Sicilian it's a is slightly slightly different. Yeah, it's like a, like a rectangular really, it's pizza. Like, like, what's the difference? Oh, it's yeah. totally different. It's a square, a it's a square pizza with uh, like m- more mozzarella cheese generally. Yeah, like and, cheese and, is and, and, a, and a thicker crust. It's not like the cracker yeah. crust like normal. Fair. Square. Describe it slowly. <laughs> but the, the the problem is the Sicilian I, I don't think anymore. is the right dimension to fit in the bag because the bag oh. I got is twenty by twenty. They'll make it work because they're eighteen inch pizzas, and I feel like the Sicilian's a little longer. Just than tell 20. me you're the podcast mm. guy. They'll make it work. Podcast. I'm the podcast pizza man. No, no. Also, I, I just turned my beard over. Like, like <laughs> what happened to the fucking popsicle sticks? No, don't worry about it. 
It's only yours. Um, yeah, I know. Look at this. I don't know. I haven't. I, got, like I haven't experienced. One. I have not experienced. Oh, she said that was, the, your, uh, that was her testing one. Oh great. <laughs> this got extra anchorage. You got the dummy. <laughs> I haven't experienced the uh, the dipping in crust, uh, like crunchiness. But uh, I got the. Um, I think I got the. What the fuck is going on over there? I think I got the bag that holds four pizzas, and I usually only get one or two. So maybe like the extra room defogs the oh, whole like, thing. Gives it some space. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure. I could see that because I went. I went big. I was just like, who knows? Yeah, right. Yeah. I could have four pizzas one day. Yeah, you know, maybe one day I'll get some friends. What if you got like a dehumidifier for your pizza bag? Right. What are those so, little bags of crap that you get with shoes and stuff? Silica with, powder. Silica yeah, get them in there. I don't think that's the same thing. Why? Yeah, I, it might work if you get enough of they it. They absorb moisture. It's like though. red pepper, Parmesan cheese, silica gel. It's yeah, like, and what could it. possibly go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Eat everything in this box, guys. <laughs> yeah. Except for the stuff in that one package. Just keep it. Pour all the little balls in the same little plastic containers they put it in. Yeah, that's yeah. Parmesan. Yahtzee. That's red pepper. That's poison. That's, that's, that that's death. Well, I mean, they're in crap for a reason, right? Because they work. Yeah. <laughs> they're not in food, though. Why? Because they're because it's it's poisonous. Fucking toxic. They literally say, do not eat. They put it in the bag. Still, I, mean, I don't want to put rat poison next to my food. It's okay that it's like, eh, it's not in your food, you know? Wow, fucking pro drinker, M. Anthony619. You can shotgun a glass bottle with a straw. You put a straw in yeah, to let the air it. get through. Yeah. Oh, there you go, do it. I'm, I can't, I really we, don't just, have, we don't have a straw. I would totally make him do it if we Bullshit. had Bullshit. There's got to be a straw in the other building. I don't think we have a straw. Somebody in the There's control a lot room, go get a straw. <laughs> That's All a right. lot of work. Well, we're, we're at time. All right. It's time to wrap this up. It's always time, Gus. I think uh, we had generally a good podcast tonight. It was fun. I had, I had a fun. We met a clown. We met a yeah. clown. That guy was awesome. Well, I can't remember cool the last time stretch-o. I hung out <laughs> with a clown. Did stretch out? It was stretch right? He's stretch-o. probably in the room still, Kevin. I doubt he's in the room. He's we have him for he an hour. Oh, he is. We do have yeah. him for the hour. But has it been an hour since he left? Why would they right. keep him not working? To be fair, yeah. It's just like, like, did he go to leave and Brandon was like, whoa, 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 buddy. We got you for 48 more minutes, okay? Sit your ass back down. You're going right. to entertain us. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank everyone. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Thank hey. you. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks, Jack, we'll for, having thanks for having me. Thanks for kidding, Mary. But we'll be back Dude. on Wednesday with the patch. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to be married, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Congratulations, Jack. I love monogamy. All right. Bye. <laughs> Ready to listen now. Ready to listen now. Ready to listen now.